they trying to shit on the intro, family. Hold on. You know we got to get that right, family. How we doing? How we doing? Nah, we ain't going out like that. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Hold on, family. Let me get that right for y'all, man. Let me get that right for y'all. We back. You already know what time it is, man. Oh, my God. They shitting on me, family. Why they fucking with me? Nah, they see, man. Here we go. Okay, family. Lock in. Alright. We up. You know what time it is, family. We gotta get that intro right, though. We gotta come in right. Hold on, man. I ain't finna give y'all blue balls like that. No ditty. Okay. Let's family. What it do, man? It's your boy Jay checking in. Family. Hey, listen, man. I appreciate you pulling up, family. I appreciate you pulling up. Kicking it with your boy. Listen, we on a Kendrick Lamar watch, okay? We looking for him. Where you at? Huh? I thought you had a bone to pick, right? Okay. He on the clock, family. We already know that. We also got to go through some AI songs that have been coming out. But are they really AI? What? We're going to decipher through some of these songs, family. I really believe some of these songs are leaking out of camps. Academics told us there were going to be leaks coming from camps during this battle. But family, before we get there, thank you for tuning in. All right? I appreciate you. I'm sorry about the intro. That was crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you, family. But we here, though. We here. How was your day? I hope your day was amazing. I hope everything is going well in your life. And uh, we're here to be entertained for a few hours, man. So give it up. You already know. All right. So let's get to it, family. Where do we even start? So much has happened, right? So I think since the last time we spoke, we we talked about the Rick Ross diss, right? Um, we got some more Rick Ross news to get into today. Don't even worry about it, okay? Um, but since a plethora of AI songs have came out, but family, I'm not going to lie to you. I think some of these songs are actually leaks. Now, stay with me, okay? We're going to start from the beginning at the top of the list, okay? So, let's start with a let's start with a few nights ago, right? Where DJ Academics broke the news that um, one of Drake's songs actually leaked. What? Now, what type of song? One of his songs off of Her Loss, it was actually produced by Lil Yachty, or uh, written by Lil Yachty, and Drake straight up pretty much did that bitch word for word. I'm not going to lie to you. Dude. He pretty much did that bit word for word. But we got to talk about this because to be honest with you, family, I'm a hip hop, like I'm a hip hop to the bone type of guy. And this really doesn't bother me at all. Now, again, it's not one of the songs that are Drake is Drake rapping his ass off. It ain't like uh, Lemon Pepper Freestyle or anything like that. It's jumbo shit popping. OK, so I'm trying to find the actual clip of when academics actually uh, preview the snippet first. Let's see if I can find that. I, I know I got the song already, but let's see if we can find the actual snippet of when this all came about. <clears throat> let's see, here we go. Okay, so let's start here. Now, the story goes. Academics got a text message from a random Georgia number that he didn't have saved, and it was Merry Christmas, okay? He clicks into it, and this is what he has. You know, Metro Boomin leaked the Jumbotron shit. And by the way, shout to, uh, what's this guy's name? Boobalam, Bobalam, that's his name? Bobalam tweeted, Bobalam tweeted out that he was sent a Lil Yachty leak from a random Atlanta number, okay? Brother, that random Atlanta number sent it to three other people. 
from what I was told, actually might be five from 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 what everybody's hit me. Um, and it was jumbo shit popping Lil Yachty's version. Okay, and the person said Merry Christmas. There's no there's no need for mystique here. The person who sent it, his name is Metro Boomin. Okay. Okay. That's all you need to know. Now, excuse me, family. It was actually Bob and Lamb. I said academics was sent the record. It was actually Bob and Lamb. Acts we, we just went through. And, of course, we have to play the reference track. Now, family, I do want to know your thoughts on um, Drake having Driz, I mean, uh, Lil Yachty pretty much write this song. I mean, it is what it is. Let's, let's check it out, okay? Fam, I'm not gonna lie to you. This song still hit when Yachty sings it, but it just don't hit the same like when Drake do it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. It just don't hit the same. Bitch home call another dog, I'm too slime. Shotty hit me up on the first day, that's her rhyme. New food fighter, pop an X dog, it's that time. That shit kicked in like a two time world champ. Boot up, that shit hit up in. I ain't gonna lie. This song is hard. I love this song, I really do. But then again, family, it's, this is like, is this, what kind of rap is this? This is, you know, this isn't a song where Drake is giving us like bars. You know what I mean? Up 8 a.m. geeking hard. I'm a real vamp. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like no bars. The Papa X dog is that time. That shit kicked in like a two time world champ. Boot up that shit up and down like a skate ramp. They smoke a shit lit up the room like a glow lamp. Who won't smoke? Okay. It's the sample up a little bit too. If you listening to the sample on this one, it sounds like they either removed a sample. Or they sped it up. I can't really tell. Giga hard, I'm a real vamp. These niggas got me fucked up, there I'm too amp. <clears throat> and this bitch leave me like a male stamp. Strapped up, I give a fuck, I'm a dollar. Real slime, posted at the crib in a sink pit. Every time, say how I feel, I don't fake shit. Those actually might be Yachty ad libs. <laughs> Okay. Do it wrong with them sticks, we don't do face. I just pulled me off the phone, trying to take sands. Round around my ass and like the whole hands. I said so much last time, it's hard to lead a bit. Then I did the whole round of tech in a cold red. If I tell this bitch to pull up, she gon' mop it. My dog, you don't smoke on shit unless it's unlit. I don't back and forth over no nest, I'm just gon' die. See me when you see me in that bitch, smoke doggy, unleash it. Okay, y'all, you actually did a great job with that song, I'm not gonna lie. You know what? I wonder why Yachty gives away so many of his good song. You know what? People would probably take Yachty more serious as an artist himself if he would just let keep his songs. He's giving away his best songs, right? Um. Anyway, so we had that leak. But I will say this. It hasn't just been leaks on the Drake side. It's also been leaks on the Kendrick Lamar side. Now, initially, they were trying to frame this song as a diss. This is not a diss, but this is a leak from Kendrick Lamar's side, a old reference song that he never used, he scrapped, but nevertheless, it has now came to... Nigga could never tell me this shit, AI. This is k -Dot. This Yo, in the realm of k -Dot, this song, I right. This is k -Dot all day. I don't know why he scrapped this shit leaks coming from both sides okay now again this was not a diss song but it is a leak from the Kendrick Lamar camp now since then I will say this we've had a plethora of AI songs enter the ring what? okay let's get into it now family I'm gonna be honest with you I don't think all these songs damn AI not at all not me not me. What I think is happening is songs are leaking from camps. People are almost even testing water, seeing if the, 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 the fans like it. If the fans do like it, they maybe go ahead and really get it out there. If the fans don't like it, we are going to call it AI now. So, again, let's start with the first Drake disc, right? So, this one here, right? I could never be no People were saying this was AI. What? Family, we have to, to we have to be able to distinct the 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 differences in a 
computer generated voice and a authentic voice listen to this body number one fan your first number one i had to put it in your hand you pussies can't get booked outside america for now i'm out in tokyo because i'm big in japan I'm the so listen to the way he says japan and the little emphasis that he puts on it you pussies can't get booked outside america for now i'm out in tokyo because i'm big in japan i'm the Family, if you know, you know. If you can hear it, you can hear it. That is definitely authentic. Okay? Now, if you if you recall, the internet was saying this was AI at first. This is not AI. But now we have some Kendrick Lamar supposed AI songs. And family, I need your help. You tell me if these songs are AI from KDOT. Now, before I even get to the AI one from KDOT, excuse me. Let's play this Drake one, okay? Since we just played the Drake this, let's play this supposed Drake AI this. Now, family, if you let me tell it, this shit is real. This shit is real. We'll get, we'll discuss afterwards, okay? Niggas trying to rekindle their careers off my child. No, let's talk about it. I'm about to push all the buttons, push they keep that, push your teeth out. Family, I'm so sorry to pause it and I'm going to bring it back. This shit is real, okay? Now, first of all, if this was really AI, why would we hear people somewhat walking in the background discussing shit like they doing a whole lot of work to try to make us think this shit was AI, okay? To me, you niggas future sleeping at rest stops and have your soul earnings and profits come from that wing stop. I'll get your joke blows, but in the bank for now. Niggas try to rekindle their careers off my. You hear somebody saying, like, no way, just like. Until a baby in the world, I'll just stick with it for now. Niggas try to rekindle their careers off my child. No, let's talk about it. I'm about to push on it. Man, nigga, this Drake. I know DJ Academic said he got a text from Drake saying this is 100% AI, nigga. No, it's not. This shit is absolutely real facts. It leaked. A piece of it leaked. Drake didn't want to stand by the leak. I don't give a damn. This shit is real. I can tell. Now, let's go to an authentic AI song, okay? I know what AI sounds like. We can even pull up some AI songs on YouTube, family. Like, we can do that. Listen to now. Here we go. Let's get stay with me now, family. Lock in. Listen to this. Fuck dropping down for that 50. I'll give you 200. I'm too cunning. Come touch down the city. Let's see who teams want it. This is AI. This is Island Iverson. Listen to the squareness. Listen to the 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 the, the, the calculated the the calculated even this no no differences in words listen this is ai Fuck dropping down for that 50 i'll give you 200 i'm too cunning come touch down the city let's see who teams want it you really would be stupid for choosing a rock of jewelry that is family it sounds like a damn robot there's no question we nine seconds into this clip is not a doubt a hundred percent this is ai Foolery, LA goons ready for coonery. Nigga, these size sevens gonna be up in your ass. I'm big stepping because I'm rapping Compton, do it with class. Ain't no gangsta in my hood, rocking nails with a pass. Wanna be yachty so bad, you're probably tarping for cash. What kind of man to. Nigga, K Dot wouldn't even say no bullshit like this. What? The fuck out of here, man. What are we talking about? Talking about Dot, okay? Now his ass is hiding. You done had this diss song for four years. You like to, to come out with control verses. You like to come out with like that verses. But when a nigga smack you in your shit, we looking for you, gang. Where you at? You on the clock. Time is ticking. Time is money. Okay? Now let's get back to this AI ass song. Another man. Don't make me chip a nail, Kendrick. I'm way bigger than you in Japan. Can't you tell, Kendrick? Only thing that people want to know. Man, nigga, if y'all don't get this bullshit out my ear, I damn near don't even want to finish it. But for the for the ones 
who may have not heard this, I'm gonna finish it for you. Boy, you the closest thing to a porta potty. Let niggas piss on you. This industry is more than sloppy. Or these fornications, bodies that you caught before they shot recording on somebody's watch. And since we not gonna throw our subliminals, I'll admit it. Your favorite rapper, Drizzy, been sleeping with Diddy. Listen, I know the tension that. Oh my god. This nigga was clearly lying. Family, this shit is hard to play. I'm doing it for you. Let me stop pausing and get through this. I wonder why he got punched. He kept scraping his teeth. He was eating his dick for lunch. I got the proof on the USB. Try me if you want. Apologize like Cole. If I were you, I would stop. I'm never selling my soul. That's why I sold 200k. At least I could say I'm a man at the end of the fucking day. All right, family. I can't make it. I'm sorry. I'm doing this a favor. I'm doing this a favor. That is AI. For sure. Okay? But. But. Let's listen to this. Family, we're going to discuss this song, okay? Now, this song is another diss from KDA, okay? A supposed AI song, supposedly AI. Now, we'll say this. For a song that's AI, it got a cover. I don't see a lot of AI songs with covers, okay? We got Prince here. We got Mike here. I'm sure this photo has uh, a story behind the family. I'm so sorry. I wish I would have took the time to get the significance behind this photo first. Um, if we had the time, I would do it on stream, but maybe another time. Anyway, let's listen to this song. That's why I'm making Prince. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 20 Prince Street, 20 Prince Street. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Times in front of your mirror You hesitate and proceed after you reconsider Lights flicker, the energy in the room shifted Scared to open your eyes cause you feeling the ghost of Kendrick I dominated your favorite rapper, you idolized My silence is enough to make niggas apologize Attractive statements, cold saying, regret in his lyrics MCs die when you revive a competitive spirit How to kill a rapper, let them do it to they self Self-inflicted career wounds that fear helped Drop nukes, surprise moves, height and respect They promised me my death now they deleted threats Damn. One rap nigga dead laid on the floor And I didn't even have to throw bullets for him to go Now that we got that out of the way, it's one more to go Stop wasting time, let's get the show on the road Niggas was ignoring repeat disses And when they give us why they entertained it, it's sneak disses And now that it's direct, it's leaked disses from burner pages and all Insecure behavior from niggas, y'all call guards I know that you were sensitive and emphasis on lame Seeking validation from rap critics, slandering names Legacy forever Cemented, I will reign. The next move, make the best move, is detrimental. Uh, grab your glocks when you see K Dot. Better call Ghost Riders just to beat K Dot. I came with a full clip, but only need one shot. No big three, just dynamic Uno K Dot. K Dot. Family, who the fuck is they trying to fool? That shit ain't AI. What? Who the fuck think that AI? Who thinks that's Allen Iverson? That is not the Philly PG gang, no cap. This is authentic. This is authentic as fuck. Are we, who is, what? Huh? Family, you can hear the man taking breaths. You can hear the, 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 the change in voice inflections. It don't sound AI. This is real. What? Family, listen to, let me see, we, we can act, we, we're going to actually play the whole song back, don't even trip, but around this point here, d listen to the words, but listen to the in between the words, family. I'm going to teach you how to be able to differentiate authentic voice from our favorite artists that we know versus AI, Okay. Listen to the breath. You can hear him about to say the next word. Like, all that is there. Okay? Read between the lines. MCs die when you revive a competitive spirit. How to kill a rapper. Let them do it to they self. Self-inflicted career wounds that fear helped. Drop nukes. You hear the way he say feel helped? That little... That feel helped. Fear helped. Drop... Family, this is real! I'm trying to tell y'all something. If you will listen, this is real. 
Now, why they backed up off of this song and are now trying to say it's AI, I don't know. You know me, I'm the type. What type of nigga stand on Benny, nigga? One man arm against 50, nigga. What you wanna do that? I stand on Benny, nigga. Okay. I'm not going. I'm not going. I, I want y'all to hear again throughout this little portion here and tell me again if you still think it's AI and then I'm gonna just let this thing rip again because I do think it's fire. Now, do I think this would have been enough if he would have officially released it? I think it would have been a good beginning. Good little warning shot. I still got Drake winning first round between these, but they want to act as if this is AI, okay? I'm going to play this little portion again, and then we're going to run it back. I have a competitive spirit, how to kill a rapper, let them do what's in they self. Self-inflicted career wounds that fear helped. Drop nukes, surprise moves, hide and respect. They promised me my death, now they deleted threats. One rap All right. Out of my name, three times in front of your mirror. You hesitate and proceed after you reconsider. Lights flicker, the energy in a room shifted. Scared to open your eyes, cause you feeling the ghost of Kendrick. I dominated your favorite rapper. He's been on here now. You idolized. My silence is enough to make niggas apologize. Cole, he talking to your ass. Attractive statements, Cole saying regret in his lyrics. MCs die when you revive a competitive spirit. How to kill a rapper, let them do what's in they self. Self-inflicted career wounds that fear helped. Drop nukes, surprise moves, hide and respect. They promised me my death, now they deleted threats. One rap nigga dead laid on the floor. And I didn't even have to throw bullets for him to go. Now that we got that out of the way, it's one more to go. Stop wasting time, let's get the show on the road. Niggas was... I don't like him saying stop wasting time, get the show on the road, unless this was a diss he was maybe planning on throwing out first and Drake beat him to it and now they calling it a leak. Maybe that's what it is. That's probably making the most sense if I'm being honest. Maybe they were going to throw this out first and then Drake jumped out there and instead of throwing it out first, they just said, okay, let's scrap this and somehow a piece of this still leaked. But right here, you saying let's you hear him saying let's get this show on the road, nigga. Drake has already bombed on you, nigga. So of course, I feel like that's why this was maybe partly scrapped. Okay, listen again. Not an even have to throw bullets for him to go. Now that we got that out of the way, it's one more to go. Stop wasting time, let's get the show on the road. Niggas was ignoring repeat disses, and when they give us why they entertained it, it's weak disses. And now that it's direct, it's leaked disses from burner pages and all. Insecure behavior from niggas, y'all call guards. I know that you were sensitive and emphasis on lame, seeking validation from rap critics, slandering names. Legacy forever cemented, I will. Wait, let me hear that again. Burn the pages and all Insecure behavior from niggas Y'all call guards I know that you were sensitive And emphasis on lame Seeking validation from rap critics Slandering names Legacy forever cemented Damn, is he talking about Joe Budden? What? Rap critics? Hold on Insecure behavior from niggas, y'all call guards I know that you were sensitive and emphasis on lame Seeking validation from rap critics Slandering names Seeking validation from rap critics Slandering names the only rap critic that I know slandering names is Joe Budden. Legacy forever cemented, I will reign. The next move, make the best move, is detrimental. Uh, glad big locks when you see K Dot. Better car ghost riders, just the beat K Dot. I came with a full clip, but only need one shot. No big three, just dynamic Uno K Dot. K Dot. Yeah, family. For sure, this was maybe a lead off record from Kadai, okay? I think that's what happened, okay? I think this was gonna be a lead off punch you first from Kadai, and what happened is that boy Drizzy came and bombed first, okay? That's what happened. Facts. Facts. But this is not AI, okay? I stand on that, family. I swear! I stand on that! I swear, okay? So let's stay on this beef, okay? Um, we have went through, of course, the the distinction between actual AI versus authentic songs, right? Um, but we still got a lot of trolling 
going on. Now, family, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm starting to feel like Drake is the... Drake has now made it in my personal favorites ever. Facts. He made it in my personal favor ever. I'm going to tell you why. I love his fucking energy. Okay? Niggas talk a lot of shit about Drake being this R&B singer, nigga. He do this, he do that. But when it's time to stand on business, that boy stand on business. Okay? No cap. Stay with me. Now, the whole industry came for this boy. Right? Whole industry came for this boy. What he do? That boy came and took shots at every motherfucking body, nigga. Everybody get shot. And K-Dot, I got another round or two for you. Facts, okay? But not only that, family, after he trolls him, I mean, after he disses him, family, he keeps the party going. Outside of Magic City last night, we all heard in the now, uh, you know, very viral, very hot diss song from Drake, um, drop and give me 50. We heard him say, Metro, shut your bitch ass, no, shut your whole ass up and uh, make some drums, niggas, okay? We heard him say that, right? Outside of Magic City last night, Drake had this happen. Caption from me to you. Different type of demon. Let me tell y'all something. I just told you the man stand on business, but we got a history of Drake standing on business. And you know what? Before we go through all the trolling and things he's currently doing, family, we can look at the history of some of the thing, things Drake has done. Drake buys Pharrell's jury, right? He had a little... Then him and Pharrell have a little thing for a while, no Diddy, right? So he buys Diddy... I mean, he buys Pharrell's jury, right? Right? No, no email is getting entered, right? Okay, cool. And guess what else is so funny? In the, oh my God, sign in. What? Family, what the fuck? All right, hold on, man. Why are they fucking with me, family? Let me sign in, man. Shit. Nah, they tripping, gang. They tripping. They trying to make me leak my whole fucking life right now. That's a fact. They geeking, geeking. Hold on, man. Let me get it. Let me get us locked in, family. Again, I appreciate you pulling up. Hold on, family, because this is crazy. How much shit even get signed out, man? I'm gonna have some shit leaking too. What the fuck? Resend it. Hold on, man. Do I gotta close? Hold on, gang. Hold on, gang. Hold on, gang. I got you. We back. Don't even trip. Okay. I got it. Here we go. All right. All right. My bad. Now, log me in. We here. You should be in there. We in there? Oh, my God. Family. Family, don't worry about it. We got it. We got it. All right, so let's stay on point. What I'm saying is Drake has a history of standing on some type of business. That's what I'm saying, okay? Right? And trolling these rappers. Like, not only will he throw diss songs, he takes it further, family. Okay? Now... We locked in. Let's get it going. Okay, boom. Now, what does Drake do? We were just talking about Jumbotron shit popping, right? So, in this video, guess what? We see him wearing Pharrell's jewelry, okay? We ain't even out in church. You finna take sand. Look, come on, family. Come on. 
saying. Look at him. Crazy icy. All Pharrell old shit. Why Pharrell selling his jewelry anyway? Do we know? Do we know why Pharrell sold his jewelry in the beginning? Pharrell ain't falling off, is he? Like, to be honest with you, shit like that, you supposed to just keep, just to keep it, just because, like, it's, it's memorabilia, right? That's what Drake bought it for, as memorabilia. So, why didn't Pharrell keep it for himself? That is the question. Yo. Okay. Here we go. All right, I'm back. Man, family, I'm so sorry. Got distracted. Okay, so he buys the jury, right? But what happens next, family? What happens next? What is the name of uh, Travis Scott featuring Drake? Meltdown. Meltdown. Now, it's called Meltdown because why would he call it Meltdown? Let's see here. Crazy. Now, we just spoke about how he bought Pharrell's jewelry. He wore it in the Jumbotron shit popping video. And listen to this. What? I melt down the chains that I bought from your boss. Fuck all that inheritance shit. Now, if you recall, Pusha T, of course, once part of the clips came up under No Diddy, Pharrell, and the Neptunes, okay? The Petty King. Yo. Drizzy. Now, he even has a song where he says he's the petty king. Right? He says he's the petty king. Alright, so of course, again, he had he had Metro Boomin's he had a band for Metro Boomin outside of Magic City. Not only that, his story. Today, he uploads this. Okay? Metro! Shut your whole ass up and make some punks get low. Come on, Drake. Get back to the drum. Drake stole him out, Drake. Damn! Yo, Drake the new Tupac, yo. I ain't lying. Metro! Shut your whole ass up. No cap. Man, trolling the shit out of Metro dumbass, man. Metro started all this shit. Look where it got his ass. Metro, shut your dumb ass up and make some drums, nigga. All right. That's where it got him. Also, he ain't done with you, Kung Fu Kenny. What? No, no, no. Wonder is today the day with turtle emojis in the beginning and end of the sentence. This family is KDOT's manager. He trolling us. He trolling the shit out of uh, P.F. Chang, P.F. Lang, P.F. Kung Fu. What the fuck? Like, y'all niggas, what, what the fuck is y'all niggas at? All right? Look at this. Look at this wholesome. This is the video. This is this is the, the, the photo he took for his LinkedIn. For sure. This is his LinkedIn photo. Not too business, not too casual, right in between, but smile seem approachable. I get it. I get it. Nice plaid shirt. I get it. Listen, man. Drake is out here looking for the smoke, man. Um, Again, I think the boy is the new Tupac, okay? No cap. He has fucked your favorite rappers, bitch. And how did... Hold on. What was the first thing that Tupac told you niggas when he was dissing Biggie? I ain't got no motherfucker. Hey, the same way Tupac got revenge, Drizzy gets revenge. I'ma call that boy um I'ma call that boy Drizzavelli. That boy name is Drizzavelli. Listen. Listen, the boy name is Drizzle fucking Veli going forward, okay? The boy took, Tupac took seven shots. Drizzy the sixth guy took six shots, okay? Weekend. 
Metro, Future, Travis, who else? Nigga, two more, all right? Who, Weekend, Future, Metro, uh, ASAP, Weekend. Give me one more, family. Help me out. Give me one more. Fucking Drizzavelli family. Fuck that shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't even need one more. Still six shots, nigga. He took six shots because he's the sixth god, nigga. Drizzavelli. Fuck out of here. Trolling these niggas, okay? He pushing the beef forward. He wants more, okay? Okay. Um, let's stay on this. Let's make sure we're getting everything up. Oh, shit. I forgot all about this. Fuck. All right, family. Check this out. Okay. In the midst of this beef that we currently have going on again, academics told us at the beginning of this, right, that reference tracks were going to be leaking. There were going to be a lot of dirty things happening. All right. So, today, this is breaking right this is today a another reference track has leaked out of the ovo sweatshop family i know i know i know i know i know this song was a song that was seemingly written by cash cobain now actually let's find out who cash cobain is anybody know who cash cobain is who is cash cobain This is his from the block performance. That's a lot of get she throwing. Nah, nah, nah. Oh wait, that's this nigga. That's this nigga. Oh, I know. You can't leave that before the beat drop. So I know who these guys are. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I know who these guys are. Now, the reference that they made for Drake from the Her Loss album, or was this for all the dogs? Let's listen. I, I'm I'm sorry, it just slipped my mind. No, this is uh for all the dogs. Okay, so this is a leak from for all the dogs that is now allegedly a ghost written song or has a reference track by Cash Cobain. She know that I come with static, so she wanna hold the gun. Wait the fuck a minute. What? You know what? That nigga Drake took so much backlash from Joe Budden, that nigga talking about he was fucking young hoes. That nigga Drizzy ain't no snitch. All he had to say was Cash Cobain said that shit, not me. Now, see why Drake was so mad at this nigga. He ain't even, nigga, I ain't even write that shit down. And you talking about me out here fucking with young bitches like I'm some weirdo. Nigga, the young nigga said it. I was just saying what the young nigga said. Damn. Okay. Okay. That one there. Hey, another one. Another one. Family, again, I want to know how you feel about this. Um, these reference tracks leaking, you know, they're really coming for the boy Drake. They are really coming for him. Um, let me see if I can find that clip where Joe was talking about Drake. Um, uh, let's see here. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's see if we can find it. Is this it? He rapping for the children. Let me see if this one is it. Because you know, this pissed off Drake. I ain't gonna lie to you, game facts. If we recall, he wrote this long paragraph about Joe Budden after he reviewed for all the dogs. I think this is the clip where he's kind of insinuating that Drake was maybe on some weirdo stuff with some young women. Let's check it out. This, this is like Yachty rapping. This is like he rapping for the children. And that's my, yo, dog, I had to look up how old this was when I finished listening to the album. Mm -hmm. You are 36. Your birthday is in 20 days. I Googled that too. You will be 37 <laughs> years old. Get the f away from some of these younger niggas. 
and stop f***ing these 25 year olds. Okay, you hear them right here. Stop fucking these 25 year olds, okay? 37 <laughs> years old. Get the f*** away from some of these younger niggas and stop f***ing these 25 year olds. I'm listening to the album. You're a 37 year old billionaire. I get it that you appeal to the world. Loving about Cole, like my shit is happening in reverse. Like with Cole, he used to rap. Okay, we don't need all that part. But again, Drake, I mean, Joe Budden made it seem as if Drake was on some weird shit when now we're finding out that song wasn't even something he wrote. But let's go ahead and read what Drake had to say about Joe Budden since we are already here when he reviewed the For All the Dogs album. At Joe Budden, first things first. You have failed at music. Damn. That's off rip. That's how you're talking to Joe. You left it be you left it behind to do what you are doing in this clip because this is what actually pays your bills. For any artist watching this, just remember you are watching a failure give their opinion on his idea of a rap. Raps you wrote had 450 men showing up to your shows in Dusty and Nietzsche jeans to screw up their face to move music 29 and pretend you are the GOAT. Please, to any artist that's doing what they feel is right, don't let these opinions affect your mindset after the fact. This guy is the poster child of frustration and surrendering. You were tired. We never hung up your jersey. We, If you need it, put in simpler terms, I own a 767. He owns a modest house in the 973 and flies first class on special occasions. Okay. Okay. Drizzy really let Joe know how he felt. Now, I do not agree with all of this, but I do kind of somewhat agree with a bit of it, family. I got to be honest with you. How do we let a nigga who never went platinum, never really made it in music, tell us what the bar is in music? I don't know. We did it. All right. We did it. We let a man who pretty much, hey, look, that's a whole nother story. Joe Budden is Joe Budden. Give it up. All right. Any way. Now, we have found out again that Drake did not write that song, okay? Drake did not write that song, although he was killed by Joe Budden for it. Now, um, we still got more in between these two before we get into the Rick Ross aspect of it. Um, we have Lupe Fiasco also uh, weighing in some words. I do want to just make sure we get all we need from the KDOT Drake 101. Family, again, how are you feeling about the battle currently? I will say this, the more I listen to that Drake this, the harder it gets no ditty. By the way, I guess I will, um, no, no, no. Well, I'm gonna hit that for sure. Um, and what else? We're gonna hit that Metro. What else? I want to make sure we get it all. Now, this was Daylight saying, P.S., that's 10,000% AI. Daylight, you a 10,000% fucking lie. I ain't believing it. That shit was real. Family, we broke it down. If you weren't here when we broke it down, please rewind the stream. The Kendrick Lamar song that leaked, one of them is actually real that's a fucking fact i stand on it all right i stand on that shit that's a fact okay um we already hit drake oh no we didn't now family we show uh drake trolling metro having the drum line out in front of magic city but i actually incorrect incorrectly stated the chain of events okay this actually came first damn metro doing good 
Metro shuts your whole ass up and makes some drums, but you you actually drumming your ass off right now. Give it. He drumming his ass off. I'm not gonna lie, okay? He cooked. He cooked. Okay. Um. Now I will say this, fam. No, no, no. We ain't gonna get to that yet. Actually, let me kind of try to keep a chain of events here. We already went through that. We established that song was real as well. Um, we hit the Jumbotron shit popping. Uh, the rest of it go. I heard one peep out of Kendrick yet. Here we go. Check this out. Now, you can tell the song was already floating around because some of the people in the chat knew the name of the song. And he gave a little shot to uh, Rick Ross right there as well. Hi, Whitney. No, if this heard one, that was real. Okay. Anyway, we just playing clean up a little bit, family. Again, I appreciate you pulling up. I mean that. I appreciate you pulling up. I'm just trying to make sure I got all my news together for you. Don't even trip. Okay. That's all. We trying to make sure we got all of this news together for you. Okay. We already hit that. Uh, now, we're going to get into the Rick Ross aspect of it next. Um, let's see here. Okay, 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 okay. Now, Drake, again, you know, they both have been playing these kind of internet games, right? Um, Kendrick has been playing his own version of internet games with these supposed AI songs leaking, right? Drake has been leaking, having people leak text messages or DMs right here. Um, you see someone ask, ask him, red button, red button even pushed yet. He like, nope, not even close. Tables turn, bridges burn, you live and you learn. Okay, okay, okay. But of course, we've seen some messages leaking from Drake, a supposed text message thread from him and his mom, which we all know that was not him and his fucking mom. We know that. He ain't fooling nobody, but we get it. The games are currently in session, okay? All right, so I think, family, we're going to move on to uh, other parts of this beef. Now, before, right before we get into this Rick Ross part of the beef, the game, family, you tell yeah. me. Family, you tell me. Now, I want to say the game has chosen a side, but it's kind of weird because he, so this is the game, right? This is the game. He's recording a video of maybe his uh, home TV or a mirror. I don't know what the fuck it is. It looked like a TV, right? But it also looked like a mirror. I don't know. These niggas is rich. Okay. So, it's playing the lyrics of energy, right? So, in a way, you can say that game is choosing sides, right? He's choosing maybe Drizzy's side, right? But the thing is, he's Mr. Los Angeles Confidential. He's Mr. LA, of course. He can't really go against his home turf for Drake, right? Not for the Canadian. You can't go against your home for the Canadian, right? So he is playing. He's playing the song, but family, I just noticed you can't see it. There you go. You can see it now. His his caption is, "I got rap niggas that I gotta act like I like." What? What you mean by that, though? What you mean by that? What you mean by that? See, it's confusing, right? Because you're playing energy, which would make you somewhat give you the assumption that he's rolling with Drizzy. But then when you read the caption, I got rap niggas that I got to act like I like. Okay. It's, it's misleading me, at least. Family, what you think? I don't know. It's, it's, it it kind of confuses me. Now, here's the thing. Drake did like the post. But again, that can go both ways. Oh, you riding with them? You got rap niggas you got to act like I like? like That you like? Nigga, you can get it too. No Diddy. And you was kicking it with Diddy too. Used to party with Diddy. Used to party party with Diddy game. We ain't forgot. No cap. 
Or it could be Drake liking it as in, okay, my dog on my side, we he rolling with me, right? Now, someone did bring up the lyrics of a, um, and I, I will say this, whoever's posted this video, maybe they have a thing against the game, no diddy, because they're trying to make it seem as if the game has gone against the West, and they post a video of um, Kendrick Lamar being crowned like the king of the West Coast. Hold on. Like the king of the West Coast. And I guess they're trying to make it seem as if the game may have been envious of that or something. Like, let's play it. I'm going to say this and I'm going to mean this. Nigga, you got the torch, nigga. You better run with that. You better run with it, nigga. Because it's yours. And we see the game whispering in that nigga ear. Don't believe none of that shit, nigga. I'm still the king of this shit. You better fucking know it, nigga. You little short ass nigga. The fuck? Don't think, nigga, don't ever for a minute think Snoop was really serious, nigga. This is my shit, nigga. This is my shit, nigga. You know what the fuck? Yo, Drake got to talk about when K-Dot was in tears right here and these niggas hugging all on each other like, what? Look at these niggas, man. K-Dot was all in fucking tears and shit. Like, niggas, yo, fucking emotional ass nigga. The fuck? Nigga said you the best rap in the West and you crying. Oh, fucking, like, come on, nigga. Anyway, man. Okay, family, what do you think? What do you think? My dog, Hemi. <laughs> Big Hemi, man. Come on, man. Nothing but love for my dog Hemi, man. Real OG of this shit. I appreciate you pulling up. We in here having a good time, gang. You already know. You already know, boy. I hope your day was amazing, King. You already know. Okay. Now. Someone brought up the fact that maybe is if the game is siding with Drake... You got to remember what he said in the song 100. Now, the song 100 is featuring Drake. It is the game song, and the game literally starts the song with this verse. This is the first verse. This is how he starts the song. Niggas, call me to set you up. Want me to come over and wet you up because you out of town, nigga, like Biggie. Heard about the shit with Diddy. What? So I came through to vest you up, and I got a vest for 40, a vest for Hush. A vest for every nigga with the aisle on his chest and what? I got LA Unified. You better off commend woe, teaching and testing us. See, I know how it feels to be platinum plus. Niggas is jealous of you, so they try to wrap you up, tax you up, but it's OVO slash blood money, okay? What do we think, family? Because we seen plenty of niggas switch up on Drake. We're gonna talk about that too. That's a fact. Like, he said that in a verse, and it sound great in a verse, but nigga, every nigga Drake beefing with right now said they love him in a verse, you my bro in a verse, let's kick it, you my fucking son, godson in a verse. Like, these niggas be buddy-buddy, and now everybody coming at Drizzy, that's a fact. All right? For show ski. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, family. I'm very interested in how you feel about that okay 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 now we are rolling into the rick ross portion of this thing ladies and gentlemen okay i saw somebody post this and i thought this was mad true a way to break into this story drizzy should have probably left a nigga like this alone june 3rd i'm providing jobs dj envious i got a job for your girlfriend Talking about that nigga wife? It's a one-time opportunity. Your girlfriend has the opportunity to be my pickleball paddle polisher. I'm finna fucking go. The fuck you say she got the, the fucking chance to be? I'm providing jobs. DJ Envious, I got a job for your girlfriend. It's a one-time opportunity. 
Your girlfriend has the opportunity to be my pickleball paddle polisher. My pickleball paddle polisher. You hear me? Let her know why they cleaning the pools. Nah, this nigga violated. This nigga violating on another motherfucking level. DJ Envy should have pulled up, nigga. Okay. The fuck? The fuck is wrong with this nigga, man? He got the pickleball fucking sweater on too? Nigga got a pickleball fucking paddle. That motherfucker is... Nah, 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 nah. He, he, he geeking. My pickleball paddle polish. You hear me? Let her know why they cleaning the pools. Nah, disrespect. Yeah. Enjoy your day. Then he flex at the same time. Like, he wanted to back out so you can see the keys to the whips and shit like that. Like, these keys to whips. Nigga got chains for the key. Nah, this nigga Rick Ross is really rich. I'm not going to lie to you, family. This nigga really rich. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't know this nigga had chains for his keys. What? This nigga here, fam. Okay. So, Rick Ross is a veteran troller, okay? He knows what he's doing. He's made it out of a beef with 50 Cent. This man knows how to maneuver in a room full of vultures, okay? Hell yeah, my dog. Him and chill, chill. Kick back, nigga. Kick back. You already know. Ross funny as fuck, man. That's a fact. Now, he ain't done with his bullshit. Rose today. That rhyme, you know what I mean? Don't even you know, feel me. I might throw my bars out there. Anyway, he threw up this photo of little Yachty, added champagne poppy right across the chest. Yacht, put your phone on silent, little bro. 100. Hashtag BBL Drizzy calling again. Yacht, aka the pen. Again, family, I don't know why this nigga really giving away all these songs because I think his career is trash, to be honest with you. Like, I think he got like four or five songs that I just fuck with. But the nigga been rapping 10 years now. Like, the nigga been rapping forever. I've never, like, just loved Lil Boat music the way I've loved a few of his songs literally, literally in the last year, this year. And now we finding out he giving songs away to Drake like, bruh, you need to build your own fucking career, bruh. Work on dropping a classic. I know a lot of people liked his last album. Anybody liked his last album? Yo, him, I appreciate that too, my dog. You the man. You I appreciate the man. that. Alright. Okay. Nah, this nigga here is going crazy. So, also, not only did he post that, this man has gotten, I don't even know what this is cover art for, what he even made it for. Like, this nigga's just bored with money. He has, assuming, assumingly, a version of Drake's nose with a MMG nose ring going through it. Damn, man. Oh, my God. Drake ain't even got a nose ring. Why you even? Anyway, y'all. Anyway, he could have just tatted MMG on it or something, like. Anyway, this nigga, hashtag nose job poppy, okay? This was 10 hours ago. This nigga woke up and chose violence, okay? No cap. You see it. You see it, my dog, Donnie. You the man. You the man. Come on, man. My gang up in that bit. We chilling, man. You already know. We just in that bit talking that shit. You already know. I appreciate you pulling up, man. Now, family, how do we feel about Rick Ross' diss record? I actually kind of want to play it again, but you know what? He just put this shit on streaming. Should have given me a copyright strike and shit. Now, like, this nigga Rosé, boy. Anyway, I will say this, family. How do you feel about Rosé putting his diss song on streaming platforms? That, to me, 
kind of says two things. It says, um, I want to make a dollar off of this beef as well. That's really all it says to me, facts, to be honest with you. I, I said a few things, but it really just says that. I'm trying to make a dollar off of the beef as well, right? Everyone's talking about me right now. I might as well upload this. I know it's going to get some uh, streams and shit like that. But family, I will say this. If Drake really wants to ether, ether, the 20-piece Wingstop finisher, punisher, all he got to do is make this the cover art to the disc. It's a wrap after this photo. William Roberts. Okay? Listen. It's done. Drake. All you got to do is say, look at the cover art. And it's done. I don't know how Ross. Ross had. Do you know how fucking good an artist Ross had to be? To make it through this shit. Nigga, you gotta wrap your ass off to make it back after this shit, nigga. No cap. Like, and you had 50 cent on your ass, no diddy? What? Man, give it up for this nigga, man. No wonder this nigga so aggressive in a beef. The nigga been exposed by this shit. And he's still around. Nigga, still here. Okay. Since I'm tapping in on that photo real quick, family, I will say this. 1090 Jake. Family, do y'all know 1090 Jake, the uh, YouTuber? 1090 Jake, the YouTuber. Um, he pretty much exposes rappers who I guess somewhat claim they're hard, tough shit like that. Um, this is a photo of 1090 Jake, and he has joined in somewhat, not on the beef, but he kind of on the sideline with it. Like, uh... He had this to say about Rick Ross. And as you can see, he was watching the Full Sin podcast clips. Okay, give it up for Full Sin. Okay. 1090 Jake says, since he keeps calling Champagne Poppy a white boy, he woke up the real white boy. Y'all want this video? He said he only lasted four months, but the paperwork says from 95 to 97 with a perfect attendance. What? Let me know. We move it over, and damn, look at that. Officer William Roberts. No, Drake does have a crazy pass. You're right about that. Drake does have a crazy pass. I agree. You say, I don't know if that's the angle Drake wants to go because he does have a fucked up pass. Tell me about Drake pass then. Because we, I mean, look, if it ain't on no, no, no P word shit, we'll talk about it. If it's on some P word shit, you got it. You got it. He, he do just want attention though, Rosa. And he taking advantage of this moment. He taking advantage of the moment. I will say that. He taking advantage of the moment. Oh, that's my dog, Lowrider. Okay, I see you, Lowrider. I appreciate you pulling up. Appreciate you pulling up. Yo, perfect attendance is crazy, okay? What? Nigga, it says it on the fucking certificate. What? Certificate of appreciation. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me. Because I, I want my mouth a little, you know what I mean? No ditty. Mm. Okay. Certificate of appreciation presented to Officer William Roberts. In recognition of your service as a perfect attendance employee assisting the Department of Correction, this was signed September 7th, 1996. Wow. 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 Oath of loyalty. What? I, William Roberts, a citizen slash resident of the state of Florida and of the United States of America, and being employed by or an officer of the Department of Corrections and a recipient of public funds as such employee or officer, do hereby 
solemnly, solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and of the state of Florida, signed W. Roberts, state of Florida, county of Dade. The foregoing instrument was acknowledged before me this 29th day of December 1995 by William Roberts, who has pronounced, who has produced driver's license as identification and who did take an oath. Wow. Signed by the notary public. Man, ah, shit. It's still hard to believe he really made it from this family. Do we want, we want to see this Rick Ross video, right? I mean, at this point, really can't change his career, right? It's not going to really change his career. Yeah, nah, bro definitely got sworn in facts. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay? And this nigga said he know the real Noriego. He owed me a hundred favors. But you know, boy. This nigga was clearly lying. Come on, man. Come on, man. Anyway, Ross has dropped his song on all streaming services, family. And I will say, man, that song do got some bump to it. It really do got some bump to it, family. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay? Um... Again, when I say weird stuff, the P word that we will not say on stream, family, these are the type of things they're trying to now leak on Drake. Now, this clip has, or this this, this tweet, or X, whatever you call it, has 5 million views. All right? Now, this is a photo that is currently going viral of Bella Harris in 2016, right? Photoed with Drake. Now... In the time of this photo, she was, if I'm not mistaken, 16, okay? Yes, she was 16 at the time of this photo. Family, let me say this. I don't feel like this photo makes Drake weird at all, right? Drake has a plethora of fans from young to fucking old, right? No diddy. That sounded weird. From young to old. If Bella Harris goes to a Rihanna, where we at? If Bella Harris goes to a Rihanna anti-war tour, right? That's what this says. At the time, Drake and Rihanna were cool. Drake is at the show. Bella Harris says, hey, I want to take a photo. Drake says, cool. No one is there to take the photo, so it's a selfie. How else is Drake supposed to kind of get the, the, the photo off? No diddy. Just because he take a, a selfie with this girl... We putting all this type of weird shit on them? That is fucking ridiculous, in my opinion. Right? Am I tripping? Yo, fam, y'all gotta let me know, gang. I don't know. Now, listen. If weird shit come out, I'm never caping for no weird shit. That's a fact. But, nigga, we've all taken a photo and... If, like, come on. Like, what? Anyway, family. I just, I'm just saying that to say a photo can be flipped a thousand ways to look weird. You feel me? And I think that, you know what I mean? That, that could just be one of them. Okay? Okay. We still got more trolling from Rick Ross. Man, I'm telling you, this man is trying to get his, he getting his streams up right now. He getting his streams up. That's a fact. I ain't seen Rick Ross more in this last week. I done seen more Rick Ross in this last week than I done seen this nigga in the last year. Facts. Like, and I fuck with Ross. Don't get it twisted. I think it's so, it's so fucked up that they beef. And we're going to kind of go down some memory lanes between these two niggas. Because these niggas love each other. That's a fact. And I think there could even be a possibility later on down the road they really do make amends and start doing music uh doing music doing music again together i really do but let's go you hear them playing the diss you know what i'm saying ross at home man he in florida you already know he pull up to the club yo run it he the boss they gonna do that Nah, they blending that shit with uh, what's the name of that song? Doom, Doom, Computer Love, nigga. Yeah. 
on the chart. Don't make me laugh. Get the mind trap on my watch. This is a different time. Maybe I'm tripping. I thought I heard computer love coming in. Anyway, Ross is in the club showing, yo, I'm in the club. They spending my diss about your bitch ass. That's what Ross saying. That ain't me, Drake. They spending the diss about your fake nose, fake ab having ass, nigga. The boss. The fuck? Own a hundred wing stops, nigga. I own a thousand rallies. I got a hundred cars, you Canadian. You wish you had a dunk on 26s, don't you, white boy? You wish when you pulled up to the hood, everybody know you in the hood. That's what Ross saying to this nigga, man. No cap. That's what Ross saying to this nigga, man. All right. Let's see here. He also shares DMs that he sent to Drake. Family again. Just them DMing back and forth. Even though Drake ain't DMing him in this particular thread we can see here. Family, these niggas is friends. And you will see more of what I'm referring to a little bit later. But he DMed them to let them know, nigga, I'm in the club. I'm playing my disc. You see the disc here. I, I wrote it, white boy. Yo, that's another thing. Oh, man. Hold on, family. Let's get to that. There's another clip of Ross in the club. Let's find that clip. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's find that clip. Again, family, I appreciate you pulling up. I hope you're having an amazing evening. Right? No cap. I appreciate you spending a little bit of that time with your boy. No cap. All right? Let me find this other clip of Ross in the club. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, now, family, in this clip, he's listening to sicko mode. Listen to what he says. He says, who wrote this? Yes, who wrote this? You would never guess who wrote this. <laughs> Look at the laugh, the diabolical genius. This nigga is really a diabolical genius. Look at this fucking villain ass laugh. You would never guess who wrote this. <laughs> nah, that thick, deep ass laugh. Stop. <laughs> now, family, that takes us back. This got 16 million views. Wow. That takes us back to what we were just reading. Okay. He is DMing Drake. And now it will make a little more sense when we look at that DM family in the DM thread. He sent back and forth with Drake. He stated the fuck where'd it go he stated oh fuck i'm killing the build up here we go i wrote it white boy with the nose now family do we think he really wrote that oh yo do we think ross wrote the fucking verse for sicko mode what Dog, Ross Chain looking fire. I love Raj and Zap. Computer love facts. Man, you already know, man. No cap. Donnie, you like that Ross impression? I appreciate you, gang. My dog, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Did Ross write that song? No, we finna look at the credits right now. Saha wrote that verse. That's why. Wait, hold on. Saha wrote that verse. That's why him and Ye had a falling out. What? Man, let me find out Saha wrote the fucking... Sicko mode verse. Let's find out uh where's the best place to find credits to a song? Sicko Sicko mode. I know if we go uh to um let's go to Genius. Don't Genius show who wrote songs too? No, they don't. Okay, let's get out of there. Um Sicko mode. Uh let's see here. Let's see if we can find credits and 
um, what have you. Let's see here. Um, yo, do y'all know how many like fucking samples that Sickle Mode has? It's fucking crazy. It's like 27 or something like that. Um, okay, additional songwriting credits. Okay, let's see here. First of all, let's make sure we we get the 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 they talking about additional credits. Let's make sure we get the first set of credits. Um, Sickle Mode is a song by Travis Scott, features vocals by Canadian rapper who was credited on Apple Music but not on Billboard Hot 100 or Spotify. Hmm. What? Yo, I'm sorry, family. Let me read that again. It features vocals from Canadian rapper Drake, who was credited on Apple Music, but not the Billboard Hot 100. What? They stole a number one from that nigga? That's a whole nother story. Let, let's keep going. Um, Let's find these credits. I'm sorry, family. My bad. You know I, you know I get thrown off sometimes. Let's find these credits. Um, Credits. Credits. All right. Okay, we back to where we were. Let's look at it. Personnel, production, technical. Okay, additional songwriting credits as pertaining to the samples. That's the samples. Yo, where do I go to see who wrote a song, family? Sadell Young is Saha's government name. Yo, and that nigga is like a goat rapper, no cap. I when I found out he wrote um, what was it for? Uh, Beautiful morning. He wrote like some amazing shit for 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 Ye. Like he's literally written Ye's best hit. All right, sickle mode credits. Let me just type that in. Um, let's see here. Let's find these credits, family. Yo, I need to actually. Okay, here are the full album credits for Travis Scott Astro World. Okay. Sickle Mode, produced by Tay Keith, Oz, Q Beats, Hit Boy, featuring Drake. That ain't it. I don't feel like that's ever. I don't feel like that's everybody. Family, y'all think that's nah, 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 nah. All right, I'm not gonna get. Yes, I am. We want to know. Fuck. I was finna say I ain't gonna get hung up on this, but we got fucking Rick Ross saying he wrote the verse for Sickle Mode. Man, let me really find out. Let me find out. Let's see. Um, Sickle Mode is a song by Travis Scott featuring Drake and Sway Lee from Scott's third studio album, Astroworld. The song was written by Travis Scott, Drake, Sway Lee, and seven other artists. Nigga, that's who we want. Who are the seven other artists? Uh, Travis Scott. Okay, Travis Scott, Drake, Dolly Gray, Big Hawk, Sway Lee. Produced by Lynn Birdwell, Samantha Lecca, Nathan Shearer. Music by, we got a list of producers, okay. Editing. Casting, yo, fucking casting. Was this a movie or a fucking song? Damn. Production, art, makeup. Oh, what the? What? All right. Okay. Maybe they talking about the video at this point. All right, family. I don't think Rick Ross had fucking nothing to do with this shit. Rick Ross, show some motherfucking proof. Fuck that. You got me looking for some shit, wasting my fucking family time. You ain't write that shit, nigga. Fuck out of here. That bullshit. Yo, family, how we feel about this cover art, though? Like, Drake, who is Drake being blended with? Do we know who this was before they memed it into Drake? Does anybody know who this was? You say, say songwriters. Let me, let me, let me try that real quick. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to waste too much time, but uh, sickle mode songwriters. Let's try that real quick. Song writers. Single Mode by Travis Scott was written by Travis Scott, Drake, Mike Dean, Hit Boys, MD Beats, OZ uh, Regret, Chahaladid, Take Keith, Sony Caesar, Harry Wayne, Caskey, Kevin, Gramilia, Saha, 
Oh, shit. You said that. Oh, shit. Hold on. Sway Lee, Chilo Parker, Ali, Muhammad, Tim, Q-Tip, Guru. Now we're getting into the producers. DJ Premier, Easy Mo B, Sticky Fingers, Fredro Star, Fife Dog, Buster Rhymes, Charlie Brown, Dinko D, Richard, Finch, and Rick Ross. What? Family. I'm finna fucking throw this shit. I'm finna fucking family. Let me find out Rick Ross really has something to do with this shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Family, is this real? Rick Ross? Oh, y'all can't see it. Family, y'all gotta say, Jay, you geeking. We can't read what the fuck you reading, gang. Say that. Family, y'all can't even see this. Look at this. I was about to stop reading it when I saw Q-Tip, Guru, DJ Premier. I'm like, all right, now they into the DJs and and, and producers. And then we keep going, and I'm like, Fredro Star, Fife Dog, Buster Rhymes, Charlie Brown, Rick Ross. Whoa. Saha, Saha has a video on Vlad TV. Family, don't say it ain't so. Yo, this nigga Vlad, I hate, I ain't gonna say that. Vlad will clap my channel behind some bullshit though. Let me see if we can finesse some shit. Let me see if we can finesse. Vlad TV, Ross, Rick Ross. Um, Drake, man. This wasn't, this wasn't even the fucking, I was about to go a whole nother route. What the fuck is going on right now? Yo. Oh, you say Saha has a video on Vlad. Saha. Saha. The Prince. Um, Saha the Prince. Speaks on writing 30 Kanye songs. Saha the Prince on assassination, assassination attempt writing for Kanye. Travis Scott full interview. Fam, I need a clip though. Let me see if I can find a clip on uh, on X real quick. No diddy. Hold on. And uh, yo, that is crazy, family. I'm not going to lie. Rick Ross. Yo, y'all think Rick Ross really has something to do with that? Do it the fucking sicko mode verse? Saha. Saha Drake. I thought. Let me see here. Hold on. Oh shit. Hold on. Bye. Now wait, 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 wait. Is Saha writing for Drake or is he writing for Travis? This this Travis part. Now, okay, now this is a snippet. I'm okay. Okay, we got one cleared. Okay. Saha wrote Travis verse. Okay. We got that cleared. Now we need to find out about Saha and this Ross. No. Uh, nah. Let's see here. Okay. Yo, I'm com yo family. We need a full fucking breakdown on the creation of sicko mode. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. This, they're listed as songwriters, okay? Everyone here, you see, of course, including Drake. We see Travis, Chris Martin, Kirk Jones. I don't even know who these people are. I'm, I'm not sure if these are actual artists and they're using a different name. Nevertheless, these guys are people are also listed as songwriters as well. Family, how many people are listed as songwriters on this song? We're going to count them up real quick. No cap. 
Um, everyone listed as songwriters. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm gonna assume this is another eleven clip. That's twenty-two. Now we got 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 people. 29 people listed as songwriters on the sickle mode. Now, I will say on this version, I don't know what Ross. Wait, Ross' real name is William Roberts, and I do not see William Roberts here. But family, I don't know what the fuck going on. We done got into the weeds with this sickle mode. All right. Ross has thrown some shit at us that we were not prepared for. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. We got to do our research, family, and we're going to get more um, knowledgeable on who wrote Sickle Mode and did Drake indeed have a ghost writer for Sickle Mode. Now, since we are somewhat talking about ghost writers, we do have a clip from the GOAT, Kanye. Okay. Speaking about ghost writing as if it's just, you know, casual. And we do know he is a GOAT artist, maybe not per se GOAT rapper. But a GOAT artist, overall, he makes amazing beats. He knows how to curate music amazingly. He has an amazing ear for music. He may not be the best rapper, just pure rapper, but he can rap, but he doesn't have a problem saying he gets a little help, okay? I, I All the records, I wrote all the records I had. That I would hum it out and get the basic idea, like one take, this is what it's going to be. And then I would have like Cuddy or Stero or Tony Williams or something just um, kind of vibe out and help me think of a line. Let's replace this line. Let's make this better. Like, actually, the line, Dr. Evil, uh, uh, Mr. Hudson, thought of that line. Because I just said, how could you be so f***ing evil? I was like, I want to say something like that. But I Now, family, I'm sorry. If you don't know, he's referring to the song Heartless. Um, it was a single off of his 808s and Heartbreaks album, an amazing album, if you ask me, an album that literally changed hip-hop. Nevertheless, he's referring to a line in that song. I don't want to say, you know, I want to say something different. But he was like, what about Dr. Evil? And now that's like one of the best lines of the song. It's like, <laughs> how could you be so Dr. Evil? You bring it outside of me that I don't know. But the way it would be like, the thing that I lay down on the track was be like, how could you be so evil? I don't know. I don't know. So what he's basically telling you is he knows the melody he wants the song to be in. He may not know the words, but he knows the melody. Speaking of that, family, I'm going to get in the woods one last time and we're going to keep it clean. But um, when I think about melody, matter of fact, I'll leave it alone because I'll go somewhere else. But there's another song that now I got to do it. I'm sorry. Um, Let's pull up. Matter of fact, if I pull it up on here, let's see if we can find it. Michael Jackson's. Uh, Michael Jackson rock with you reference. I don't know how to spell. All right, listen to this. This is the reference track for Michael Jackson's rock with you. Okay. family listen he is not saying fucking words what but he understands the melody he wants the song to be in okay so listen he says tonight's the night and when i'm falling and na -na -na. Family, we working too hard. All we got to do is listen to songs and say, uh, 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 You ain't got to fucking know the words, family. So, again, real quick, that is what Ye is saying 
in this clip. Well, he was Kanye West during this clip. Good to be so Dr. Evil, you bring it outside of me that I don't know. But the way it would be like, the thing that I lay down on the track was be like, how could you be so evil? I don't know. I don't know. And that's how it works. All right. That's how they make the mustard for the hot dog. No ditty. All right. Man, family, I appreciate y'all pulling up. I love y'all so much, man. I'm having so much fun. I'm literally having fun. I really am. Family. Man, the internet is petty as fuck. You already know that. Listen. They found a tweet from Metro Bowman in 2010. What? Now, I will say, if you was around Twitter from around 07 to about 2012, nigga, it was lit. These type of hashtags were regular, okay? They were regular, so I'm not going to judge Metro for hashtagging if I were a hip-hop, if if hip hop were high school okay I'm not gonna judge before because i can promise you if we go to that hashtag we're gonna see thousands of hashtags from 2010 saying the same thing now metro back in the day 2010 said drake would have all the hoes and niggas would be mad well damn you knew what the fuck you was talking about metro no cap you hit that nail right on the motherfucking head, gang. Nigga said, hashtag if hip hop were high school, Drake would have all the hoes and niggas would be mad. Yes, Metro, including Yoho. Okay? And guess what? The niggas is you. Okay? That's what we found out. Look at this photo. Somebody just uploaded that photo, man. Niggas is. I love you, niggas. You niggas is too funny, man. Niggas is too funny. Family, again, if you weren't here for the beginning of the stream, I I unpacked this entire K dot track. Make sure you go back to watch it. This is an authentic song, okay? I want to make sure we hit all of this. And family, we still got so much more. Oh my God, I really need to use the bathroom real quick. What clip can I play and come back on some type of timing with you? And it's hot in this motherfucker, family. I had to turn my AC off because I don't want that shit bleeding through the fucking mic. Oh, my God. Family, you know what? Let's see here. Um, I can't play. I want to play those clips. I can't. Yeah, let me see here. Cha-cha-cha. Let's see here. Because we still got a lot to talk about. I'm not going to lie. We got a lot to talk about. Damn, it's so much to talk about, family. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. Here, let me go back. We'll just play a song for a minute, family. I, give me one second. I'm going to be right back. Is that the official? Nah. Let's find that official. Because we got a lot to get into. Lupe has weighed in on this. He actually feels like Drake is going to get, demo I mean, uh, that Kendrick Lamar is going to get demolished in this battle. Okay. Lupe is riding with, K I mean, Lupe is riding with Drizzy. Okay. He riding with the boy. All right. Family, you know what? Give me a second. I'll be back. Again, decipher for yourself. I've, I already know this shit is real. But I'm going to let this play. You let me know if you think this is real or not. That's why I make it. Uh. Hey, 20 Prince Street, 20 Prince Street. Uh. 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 Hey, Prince Street. Yeah. Uh. Times in front of your mirror You hesitate and proceed after you reconsider Lights flicker, the energy in a room shifted Scared to open your eyes, cause you feeling the ghost of Kendrick 
I dominated your favorite rapper, you idolized My silence is enough to make niggas apologize Retract the statements, call saying with credit in his lyrics MCs die when you revive a competitive spirit How to kill a rapper, let them do it to they self Self-inflicted career wounds that fear helped Drop nukes, surprise moves, hide them respect They promised me my death, now they deleted threats One rap nigga dead, laid on the floor And I didn't even have to throw bullets for him to go Now that we got that out of the way, it's one more to go Stop wasting time, let's get the show on the road Niggas was ignoring repeat disses And when they give us why they entertained it as sneak disses And now that it's direct, it's leaked disses from burner pages and all Insecure behavior from niggas, y'all call guards I know that you were sensitive and emphasis on lame Seeking validation from rap critics, slandering names Legacy forever cemented, I will reign The next move, make the best move, is detrimental uh, Grab your glocks when you see cake dark better Car ghost riders, just the beat cake dot I came with a full clip, but only need one shot No big three, just dynamic uno k da, k da. What you think? You think that's still fake? Shit, real as hell, gang. No cap. No why? I don't know why Kendrick got here bullshitting like that shit fake. Shit, real as hell. That shit, real as hell. I know K Dot, nigga. You ain't fooling me, nigga. And I stand on that. What type of nigga stand on Benny, nigga? One man arm against 50, nigga. What you wanna do that? I stand on Benny. That's a motherfucking fact. Alright. So, family, I think we've hit all of the rick ross drake let's see a minute alone this track isn't gonna cut it that's a fact and look i think that was like i said earlier i really think that was his gonna be his first initial jab and then before we know it we have uh drake responding and i think he scrapped it because of that but see they plan look they plan with drizzavelli nigga i told you that nigga named drizzavelli nigga drizzavelli he taking on the whole industry. He took shots from the whole industry. And he's still trolling you niggas, okay? Facts. Why they playing with my nigga like this, though? Hey, I could never be nobody number one fan. Damn. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Nah. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out of Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the head. Man, quit playing with me, ho. Quit playing. Y'all niggas play too much, man. The fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. Okay, now, family, I told you, Ross and Drake love each other, family. I lie. We still got some Ross and Drake, okay? No cap. Now, family, do you recall the, of course we recall it, the COVID year? Um, Drake was working on Certified Lover Boy. Or was it Scorpion? No, it was Certified Lover Boy. Um, and this was pre-COVID happening, so he was actually about to release um of course the album and then COVID happens everything gets pushed back but he had an interview with elliot and b dot give it up for them they did it at drake's home listen drake is so fucking rich that man house is amazing no cap but um they asked him about ross this is what he had to say Ross has just always been one of my one of my favorite rappers um, ever, and I think when we hit each other up to do a song, it's just always an enjoyable text to get. You know, <laughs> uh, it's always enjoyable when he hits me and says, "Yo, I need one," or you know, I hit him and say, "Yo, I got one for you." Um, we just know what time it is. I know he's gonna bar up. Um, I know he's gonna. You know, I know what he's gonna bring. And he's just one of the most consistent people. If you ask something of him, like, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's tough to collaborate with people because if they don't deliver exactly what you were thinking of, mm -hmm. how do you tell them, I don't ah, like that, this man. wasn't, yeah. you know, it, it, can, it can really sever relationships. Mm -hmm. um, and Ross is just one of those people I've never had to worry. I've never had to, like, question what he's going to bring. I, he, you know, he didn't just, like, I didn't send him, like, a, 
like like a gold roses and he sends me back like like him like singing in falsetto and like auto tune and I'm just like what is going on and like um, yeah he's just consistent man yeah. he's he's just really one of the best and one of the most thorough that does this for you real. Remember, so some boy when you squashed it with me, it was like that means Drake and Rick Ross can make records again. Well, that was the, that was like <laughs> one of the most painful parts for me. I mean, aside from just like the rift that that situation put between the family and like you know obviously changed me and Nikki a lot probably forever, you know, like that situation took its toll. But um, but one of the most painful parts was just being like, man, Ross is like one of my OGs, one of my mentors, and one of my favorite people in the game. And I might not be able to make a record with him again because he has to pick a side. It was like, damn, you know? And that was kind of the case with a, with a, lot, of the, with a lot of that, you know, yeah. more so me because you know, Meek's a bigger artist than like than 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 the guy that I'm beefing with right now. So it's like, damn, what guy was he talking about right here? He was beefing with in 2020. Meek's bigger than the guy I'm beefing with right now. Who he was talking about, family? We know because you know Meek's a bigger artist than like than 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 the, the guy that I'm beefing with right now. So it's like, man, this nigga stayed in beef, man. I told y'all niggas, Drizzle fucking Valley, man. Drizzle Valley. All right. So again, he loves. Ross, okay? And of course, Ross took a clip of uh, Drake saying, one of my favorite artists to work with, but Drake can do the same fucking thing, okay? So we also got clips of Ross praising Drake, all right? Um, we're going to get that pulled up right now for you, family. Don't even trip. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Excuse me. Excuse me. Fuck, that was disgusting. Let's see here. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Rose. Here we go. What's this relationship with you and Drake? Drake, let me let me let me finish. Drake is possibly the hardest person to get in touch with. And let's be clear, every song he does goes number one. And he's just like Drake told that nigga I gave your ass your first no number one. Okay. The Michael Jackson in his time. And I've watched him say, yo, I had to call up Ross because I ain't hear no Ross music. And I'm, I like to hear Ross music. <laughs> what kind of shit is this? I'm just asking you, yo, Rose, what is your true relationship with Drake? What is like, what is it that this man, he loves you, man? No, nah, the, the love is genuine. The love is fucking genuine. These niggas fucking love each other. I just told you. Drake was just dick sucking Ross. Now Ross dick sucking Drake. No diddy. And it's been like that for shit close to a decade now since he came in the game. You know, I, that's one thing that. Nah, this nigga just woke up. Y'all don't see all this fucking mat in this nigga. I like. What? Bro, we get it. Like, you just chilling at the crib, but like. Nah, the, the love is genuine. And it's been like nah, that shit, that shit irking me. But I'm, I'm gonna continue. Like that for shit, close to a decade now since he came in the game. You know, I, that's one thing that I'm sure several people will let you know is, even when, um, I may have been the hottest at the time, I never little homie none of the young niggas coming up. You know what I'm saying? When Drake was just getting on the team, being in Miami, needed a record. I, I moved for him the same way I moved for Weezy. I moved for a young nigga trapping in Liberty City for a verse. Sam Sneak just hit me. What's the little homie name? Tafia. Tafia. Sam Sneak just hit me oh, so man, nice to go. Hold on, family. I will say, I think Ross is rewriting a little bit of history. I think this is a little bit of revisionist history. Now, Ross was the man in Miami. Let's not get that twisted. I say he was the man in Miami because he's from Miami. But Wayne and who else he said? Wayne, for sure, was always hotter than Ross. Like, it's never been a time Ross was hotter than Wayne. So, what kind of shit is this? I'm just asking you, your Ross. Love is genuine, and it's been like that for shit close to a decade now since he came in the game. You know, I, that's one thing that I'm sure several people will let you know is even when um, I may have been the hottest at the time, I never little homie none of the young niggas coming up. You know what I'm saying? When Drake was just getting on the team, being in Miami, needed a record. I, I moved for him the same way I moved for Weezy. What? 
Drake needing a record from Ross? Family, do we re do we recall this time that Drake needed a record from Ross? Never. I move for a young nigga trapping in Liberty City for a verse. Sam Sneak just hit me. What's the little homie name? Tafia. Tafia. Sam Sneak just hit me. Oh, that's so man, nice to go. Up with Tafia. Yeah. yeah. Brother. Yeah. Oh no, beautiful guy. Okay. You know what I mean? Sam Tafia Sneak just man, hit me. Just hit good. me. Dude, I was with him locked up. You know what I mean? Good dude. And so shit, it's like, it's been vice versa. God, son, when I called you. Better believe it. Rest in peace okay. to the homie. But okay. that's how that's how a genuine nigga do it. Even when you're on top of the game, nigga, you got everything in the world. you can Anyway, okay, so again, family, these two love each other. Hey, 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 that's where Birdman House was at, right over there. Stunner, that's where your house was at, right there. The little island over there. Hey, 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 that's where Birdman House was at, right over there. Stunner, that's where your house was at, right there. Your house was at, right there. The little island over there. My heart knew what.
What yeah. type of nigga stand on Benny, nigga? One man arm against 50, nigga. Which one do that? I stand on Benny, nigga. Oh my God, I've been streaming to nobody. What? Donnie, that's why you've been trying to, oh my God. <laughs> Bro, don't tell me I've been muted this whole time. Yo, Donnie, I got you, hold on, I got you right now. That's what I've been trying to get. Yo, my dog Donnie. Oh, I'm back now. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Look, first of all, I appreciate my dog, Donnie. He let me know. Yo, Jay, you're muted on stream, gang. Yo, I really been streaming. Yo, I'm and look, I'm looking at me talk, and I'm so mad. Yo, all right. You can hear me now, right? You can hear me now, family. We back. Okay. All right, we back. We should be back. That was crazy. I'm not going to lie to you, fact. Okay, we back, though. I was trying to explain what happened, why Birdman was being trolled by uh, Stunner the way he was. By the way, I'm going to drop this off real quick since... I do got Discord open real quick. No ditty when I say drop this off. Let me jump into the stream real quick. My dog Donnie, hold on. All right, damn. I just, let me log back in. Boom. Open. I'm still muted. I'm, oh, I was about to say fuck. Okay. Let me see here. Where is that? How come? Where is ringing at? Reconnect. Your Donnie. Your you can hear me? We we locked in, twin, you can hear me. That bro said I could tell you a spin though. Alright, let me refocus. I'm sorry, family. Alright, focus, 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 focus. Let's lock back in. Let's lock back in. Alright. This is where we were at, right? This is what we were doing. I was explaining. Birdman picked the side. Of course, he has chosen the side of Drizzy. Of course. Yo, Donnie. I picked up, right? Your. What's good, bro? Donnie, what's going on, man? How you doing, man? You good? How you doing, man? We, we got your own stream. Yo, Donnie. All right, Donnie, you geeking. We're going to have to come back to Discord. We're going to come back to Discord a little later, all right? We're going to chill on the Discord for now. I am going to drop this link to Discord real quick. Family, make sure you join up the Discord. How you all doing, right. man? We, we got your own stream. Hold on. Bam. Yo, Donnie. All right. Here we go. So, he explains that uh, Birdman Look. used to stay on the island across from him, but now he stays in a bigger uh, home, of course, in a bigger, I guess, a more expensive space on the island. Hey, hey. That's where Birdman House was at, right over there. Stunner. That's why your house was at right there. The little island over there. Nah, bling bling. That's my shit too fat. Okay. Okay. So again, we got trolling from Rose. I think that is all of the trolling from rose but family let's get into this lupe fiasco now 
um, family Lupe Fiasco feels that Drake is definitely going to win this battle between him and K-Dot. Um, let's check this clip. Like, like you getting confused and you're a smart man, but let me lay it out to you and stop me when I'm wowing. Don't agree with me. Just stop me when I'm wowing. The control verse, right? When that shit dropped, it, I, honestly, on some rap shit, I'm like, that shit, I. Right? right? It was just, I. Right? right, Verb? Now, he says the control verse was just, I. Right, family, the control verse really flipped hip hop at the time. What you think about the control verse? I think it was, I think it was hot. I'm not going to lie. Just, I. Right. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Control, control. dude be tripping. The control verse, right? Yeah, he was it was just I. Yeah. He he came out. He did some pop shit, it, and I think academic said it recently the best. He's like Kendrick ain't the best at making disses. He he the best at making moments. So he made a moment. It wasn't like a technical. It wasn't even the best verse on. The Yo, fam, I hate it when a nigga jack another nigga point like. Nigga, make your own. Man. Don't say what DJ academic said, nigga. DJ academic said he made a moment. Nah, 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 nah. Nigga, what you think, nigga? A song. It ain't even his best verse. How the fuck you talking about you the best rapper? It ain't your best verse, right? So it wasn't what he said. It was the reaction from his fans. Right? So his fans, if, uh, for any nigga who was of note that niggas actually cared about was anywhere in his space, because me and K-Dot was in the same lane. We the same young, black, socially conscious motherfuckers doing weird shit, right? Now it's starting to sound like, hey, see, me and K-Dot was in the same lane. like. Well, no, I'm tripping. But niggas looked at it like we competing just because we in the same lane. Right? Then when he did the control verse, it was a whole wave of like, yeah, fuck you too, nigga. Kendrick this, fuck y'all niggas. And if you say if you say that that really unanimous like opinion from all of rap, like that, the verse was cool. Nigga, no, you hate motherfucker. You bop 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 bop. So for me, mm -hmm. I was responding to the hate. I wasn't responding to Doc. I was responding to the wave that this nigga's called. Cause guess what? You gotta defend yourself. And then as it, over the years, I can't even have an opinion on this dude. Because it's hate. It's like, oh, you hating on this nigga. You want to be this nigga. You jealous of this nigga. You just stand the third. The other one is, niggas is like, hey, do you think Kendrick is a top tier dude? I'm like, I think he's a great performer. I think he's a great rapper. I think he makes great albums. I think he's a great conceptualist. I think he's a great mind. I think what he does for the culture is amazing. Like, I love him to death. I do not think that he's like this amazing lyricist, though. What? Nigga, this hate. You don't think k is an amazing lyricist? I will say it is coming from Lupe Fiasco. Lupe Fiasco, we all know, is one of the most brilliant lyricists, right? So maybe he's speaking from his point of view. But from a nigga who, like me, who love Gucci Mane, like when I hear Lupe and K-Dot get in their intellectually next level rapping bag, like I love that shit. What you think, fam? And if I had to put a top 100 of list together, you not finna say no, that. You not wow. finna say oh, wow. oh no, we damn near need this whole clip. If he finna say that, he wouldn't put Kendrick in his top 100. This nigga was clearly lying. That's cap. That's big cap. That's bigger than the cap I got on my head right now, gang. No cap. Stupid cap. Stupid cap. We got more from K-Dot. I mean, not from K-Dot, from Lupe. Let's see here. Drake or Kendrick? Drake. Drake is a better rapper yeah. than Kendrick. Do you like, okay, so is it by a long shot? Not really. Drake Drake got bars, which you know. Okay. You know that. So you know I ain't mm -hmm. capping when I say that. For sure. Right. So I, I would give it to, to Drake. I think Kendrick's a better technically skilled performer, mm -hmm. but I don't think he's a better rapper. Performer. Yeah, that's a difference. So, okay. Family. What? Is it? Listen, I was just the same nigga the other night saying K Dot only got a one and a pop. Go out. I love Good Kid, Mad City. Damn is I. Right. I give it to you. I'm not listening to to Pimple Butterfly or Mr. Morale, and even I don't agree with this nigga. This nigga is hating, hating. Let's back this up. Now I'm not gonna say he hating about. Drake being a better rapper, whatever, whatever, but, huh? Let me hear this again. Kendrick. Drake. Drake is a better rapper yeah. than Kendrick. Do you like, okay, so is it, is it by a long shot? Not really. Drake Drake got bars, which okay. you know. Okay. You know that, so you know I ain't mm -hmm. capping when I say that. For sure. Right. 
So I, I would give it to, to Drake. I think Kendrick's a better technically skilled performer. So he's saying Drake got better bars than K Dot. That's what he's saying first. He's saying Drake got better bars than K Dot. He's saying you know Drake got bars. Let's let's break it down. Okay. You know that. So you know I ain't mm -hmm. capping when I say that. For sure. So I, I would give it to, to Drake. I think Kendrick's a better technically skilled performer. Mm. But I don't think he's a better performer. Yeah, that's a he thinks he's a better technically skilled performer, but he doesn't think he's a better rapper. I almost think technically skilled and rapper are synonymous. A technical skilled rapper, those are almost the same thing. Like, when I'm speaking of the level they're speaking of, family, when you think of a technical skilled rapper, you think of Eminem. You think of K-Dot. You think of Lupe. You think of these names. So I know Lupe would say he's a better rapper than Drake. I wouldn't say Drake is a better technical, skilled rapper than K-Dot by a long shot. I do feel like Drake got bars. Would I say he has better bars than K-Dot? I think they have different rap performances altogether. Drake is a flamboyant, braggadocious, uh, lit type of rapper. K Dot is a more emo, um, my my, you know, like all this build up animated type of rapper. It's two different skills. They're both highly skilled at their skills, though. But K Dot is not really a punchline rapper, right? He's a storyteller slash somewhat punchline rapper. Drake is more of a uh, today giving you, you know, he'll give you a, a punchline with something going on in the world today type of rapper. Family, you tell me what you think. So, okay, so 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 you ain't never heard Kendrick and felt like he was one of the most... Like he was what? Like, like, you cut like he was one of the most dangerous rappers? No. The other one is, this is like, hey, do you think Kendrick is a top tier dude? I'm like, I think he's a great mm -hmm. performer. I think he's a great rapper. I think he makes great albums. I think he's a great conception. I love him to death. I do not think that he's like this amazing lyricist, though. Okay. I think we got one more Lupe clip. I definitely need to hear that because Lupe is on one. His niggas is like, hey, do you think Kendrick is a top tier dude? I'm like, I think he's a great mm -hmm. performer. I think he's a great rapper. I think he it. makes great 100 of lists together. You not finna say no, that. Him, him, you wow. not finna say that. Wow. Wow. Herb. Lupe. Herb. Stop. Let, I ain't even see y'all doing that. Kendrick, part of Kendrick, part of Kendrick part not part making your top 100, man. Part of stuff. You, you, hit, you, hit what, you hit what Verb just said? Now let it. Did I say that? No, no, no. Part of stuff. Okay, Lupe. Finish your food, my nigga. Finish your food. Finish your food. I just want to go on the record. Did I say that? Nah, nah, you good. You good. But you alluded to it, nigga. Say what you trying to say. Quit like gas like, but did I say that? You said, if Drake, no, you said, in a top 100, and they was like, nah, don't do it, don't do it. But did I say that? But did I say that? But did I? Well, say what the fuck you trying to say. Damn. Hurry up. No, no, no. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. We're asking. Yeah. But you, no, you just made a statement. No, 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 no. But I asked first. I said, is that what you're saying? I was finna say it before you cut me off. Oh, damn. Okay, go ahead. You're Go ahead. So if it was a list of like top hundreds, like if I had a top hundred list, the first 60 slots would be niggas that ain't in the mainstream that niggas don't even know. Or if they know them, they don't know them like it ain't finna be niggas with record deals. Mm -hmm. It's finna be niggas like you. Ain't even one of the best battle rappers, nigga. What? No, he's not, nigga. I watch battle rap. A verb has gotten cooked thousands of times. I seen him do some cooking. He ain't even the top of what the fuck he do. The fuck is you talking about? And let's be clear, it might be niggas on the street who can rap better than some of these guys. But guess what, nigga? We talking about an overall list. Guess what happens when you speak of overall? Nigga, hits and shit like that come into fucking play. Nigga, if you want to have some weird ass list of just some rapidy rap ass niggas that don't nobody know, ain't nobody heard of, 
Yeah, nigga, we can all do that. But nigga, we talking about main, not main, not even mainstream. Just nigga, have you had a song on radio? That is that is a low bar. A low bar, nigga. Everybody has had a song on radio, nigga. Like you, are you official in any way? This nigga talking about niggas you don't know. You ain't never heard him rap. Then he don't fucking count. The fuck. This nigga geeking. Finish your food, my nigga. Finish your food. Finish your food. I just want to go on the record. Did I say nah, that? Nah, you good. Cool. You good. You good. You good. No, no, no. He that. didn't say that. He didn't say that. We're asking. Yeah. But you no, you just made a statement. No, 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 no. But I asked first. I said, "Is that what you're saying?" I was finna say it before you cut me off. Oh, damn. Okay, go ahead. Your floor is yours. Go ahead. So if it was a list of like top hundreds, like if I had a top hundred list, the first sixty slots would be niggas that ain't in the mainstream that niggas don't even know. Or if they know them, they don't know them like, it ain't finna be niggas with record deals. Mm -hmm. It's finna be niggas like you. And that, that that's not a shot. That's not to put you down. Mm -hmm. It's not, I'm not doing no rap shit. I'm nah, not collecting. Salute, salute. That's, that's good, that's amazing. It's gonna, it's gonna be all these battle rap niggas from all these leagues all over the world when it come to lyrics, mm. right? Okay. It's finna be niggas who put out one record back in 92. It's finna be Killer Sink, right? It's finna be Beretta. Wow. It's finna be Puerto Rican terrorists. It's finna be it's finna be the niggas who's like, y'all don't even know who the fuck I'm talking about. My nigga about. Killer Sink from Wu-Tang Clan, sons of man. Keep, keep going, finish your food. Right, but you but if I said that statement, right. oh, Killer Sink in my top, right. I got you. what niggas gonna finish say? Finish your food, you Wu-Tang. Niggas ain't gonna talk about American Cream Team, I got you. So I don't, Man, I ain't rhyme with none of this fuck shit he talking about. Fuck that. He ain't listening to none of this shit. He one of them, uh, now, my nigga Donnie, you the man because you speaking some real shit, motherfucking MF Doom. You, you, you the man, you the man. But even MF Doom, you see on like Wayne songs. Like, MF Doom, I feel like, got his praise. I feel like people really know MF Doom. He is trying to be, you know, people who try to be difficult, like the people who look for, like the people when you like, who the best rapper alive? And they be like, Big L. All right. You one of them niggas, huh? You one of them Big L, the greatest rapper alive, niggas, huh? Greatest rapper ever, niggas, huh? Don't get it twisted. Big L was an amazing punchline rapper family, but them niggas, I just can't, I can't go back and forth with them niggas family, because guess what? Anyway, we'll, we'll be here all day talking sweaty hip-hop, and he on some sweaty hip-hop type of shit. But Kendrick Lamar is a sweaty hip-hop motherfucker. Fact. that bullshit he talking about. Out of here. This motherfucker said Kendrick wouldn't be in the top 100. Nigga smoking dick. Nigga smoking dick. And I'm around with Drake in this shit. The fuck? Nigga, that geeking. I can't believe this nigga, yo. All right. So Lupe had more to say after his interview, okay? Hear me clearly when I say this, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart when it comes to this art. I don't even like the way he's talking now. Hear me and hear me clearly when it comes to the bottom of my heart when it comes to this art. Out of here, nigga. The fuck? Hear me clearly when I say this, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart when it comes to this art. And I quote, I will battle any motherfucking rapper. Motherfucking Lupe. Don't nobody care about no motherfucking Lupe. Ain't nobody trying to battle no motherfucking Lupe. We don't even know why you on stage. Period. Not right now, gang. <laughs> Boy, this nigga 
thing on some I will rap for food type of shit right now. What the fuck? This nigga said, I'll battle you out the crowd. I'll battle you out the crowd. I'll battle you out the crowd. Damn, nigga. Man, sit your old ass down. Anyway, Lupe out here begging for attention. We gave him a little. Give it up. We gave him a little. All right. Oh, man. Family, I will say, this, this record here, they fucked my dog Drake up with this one, family. I'm not going to lie. They smoked my dog. This one here, he going to he gonna have to spend back on these niggas for this. Hip-hop is in an amazing space right now, family. I'm so happy, man. People are competitive. You know what I mean? We having fun out here, man. Like, this is this is what I'm talking about. Okay. All right. We checked out Lupe. Oh, family, I forgot to even tell y'all. Drake is on my side. Okay? So... He commented on the supposed AI song that Kendrick Lamar released, right? Or that leaked. And Husher Graham stated, when you find out this is real, don't forget how trash it was as an AI, okay? And I guess he's trying to say, when you find out this is actually real, don't forget that as AI, quote unquote, it was trash, right? And you see Drake laughing. Family again, if you listen to the song, it's obvious. I'm telling you, we we went through that a few times now on the stream. Um, please, if you missed it, go back to the beginning of the stream and check it out. Family, this is a real quick, real quick family. I don't know what's going on. I really don't watch the news. I don't pay attention to the news. This clip was videoed four hours ago and it's at 12 million views now dubai is completely flooded <laughs> Not sure what's going on. I'm not sure what happened. If anybody knows, please kind of let me know. Praying for those people, praying for their uh, well being, family. Never, uh, you know, take for granted that we're just home safe, enjoying our evening right now. Uh, people going through things all over the world. We have the pleasure, the blessing from God to be here, taking it. Having an amazing time. Alright. So we play these references. Uh we got yo family, so many topics. I'm oozing of topics right now. No diddy. Um we just want to make sure we keep these somewhat in alignment, okay? Trying to clear out some of the things we've already touched on. Again, no diddy. 
um, so we can kind of move throughout our videos a little cleaner, okay? Um, now, we're going to kind of stay with the battle, the beef, real quick. Daylight, he says, salute to the 310. It's coming, okay? Um, he posted this photo. Again, we are still waiting on Kendrick Lamar. He is on the clock. Family, if anybody hears anything, if anything releases while we're on stream, please let me know, okay? All right. Now, this was actually posted April 15th, which was yesterday. Again, he said it's on the way. We are waiting for K dot. All right. But I'm rapping with a ghost rider. What the fuck happened, nigga? And again, there have been reference tracks leaking from K dot's camp. He said that, but there have been reference tracks leaking from his camp as well. Um, we played it on our last stream. If you missed it, please uh, check your boy out. Go back and check me out, man. You already know we 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 working, okay? Um, I'm again making sure we got everything. No ditty, and we have not family. This is something I did not catch, and I think it is a very dope move. All right, now family. Hey. One thing I did not notice is the sample. Drake used again Drizzy Veli. Drizzy Veli. That's what we call him around here. That's Drizzy Veli. Not Magavelli. Drizzy Veli. Okay? Now, standing on business as he does in the sample of the official this to K Dot. He sampled what's beef. I'm going to let it play again just in case you missed it. Okay? Good boy. Now, check this out. I know you're here. I know you're here, family. I know you're here. The boy. The boy. That boy good. That boy good, now. That boy good. Okay. We got a little bit of 50 cent. Uh, you know, he gonna he gonna get in way fit in no day. Throwing the shots out there. Of course, uh Drake did mention 50 in the this. And again, family, I've said this a few times. When you mention when you're Drake and you're the hottest, and you mention someone on a track like this, they are going to cape for you. Okay. I said it before, I'll say it again. Drake dropped back to back and he used Charlemagne or he said Charlemagne name. Charlemagne was his biggest cheerleader. Facts. Okay. And although academics is my OG, no cap. When Drake put academics name into the song or uses his clip, you took someone who was going to already cape for you to cape for you times infinity. Okay. He also said Kai Sinat name. You see Kai Sinat playing the song on the stream, smiling, enjoying it. The kids are enjoying it. If the kids love it, if Kai love it, the kids love it. And now they're all on Drake's side as well. Okay. Drake understands the art of war. You need people to cape for you. You need people on your side. One thing I've noticed about this, this beef, Drake has been communicating with Rory and Maul. What? what? I wouldn't have seen that coming. Maybe that's a subliminal shot at Joe Budden, right? Like at one time, those two were cool. Now we're not cool. Now I'm giving the exclusive shit to your ex co host. Who knows? Okay. Anyway, I said all that to say this 50 Cent made this post after Drake posted a, a supposed text thread with his mom, which we all know that shit was fake. He, that's not his mom for sure. He said, marijuana makes you hungry and racist. We don't need this shit. Take it off of the market. LOL. Now, of course, family, I kind of got on Drake. If you watched the last stream about using that racist word, like, you know, he playing a, he playing a nasty little game trying to say Rick Ross racist. Rick Ross ain't no motherfucking racist and we ain't finna bullshit like that. Do that. I told you that's him playing to the white side. He used that for the white side and the people who don't know Rick Ross. Oh, he's just some 
fat racist guy who whatever, whatever. Nah, Drake, don't do that. We don't fuck with that. We don't fuck with that. All right, that's the that's the Canadian in you. Get that chill. All right. Um, of course, family, we knew this was gonna happen. The edits to try to make the song even more fire. But I will say. As day and day go on, the song is getting better and better. Like the drop and give me 50. I be at work like nigga. Like not drop and give me 50 because it's, it's like, hey, yo. But like you get it. Like it, the shit moves. Like it got some bounce to it. How the fuck you be stepping with a size 7? Man? Huh? Great. Fuck wrong with them niggas, man. Drizzavelli? My bad. Excuse me. Drizzavelli? Shit. Fuck. Anyway. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see here. Uh, Rose, this was two days ago. He is out here standing on business with Drake. I can't even be mad at him, man. He says, drop a response or tell the kids you don't respond. Thoughts on this? Okay, okay. I'm speechless too. Okay. Anyway, um, oh shit. I'm gonna leak, leak, or leak, leak, leak messages. Anyway. All right. Have we man look, it's so much good stuff going on with the beef. No diddy. Alright. Uh, I think at this point we are Drake K dot Rose Lupe Fiasco out. The internet tried to make this a thing. I really don't think it's this. Never forget the time when Jay completely stole ASAP Rocky's show. Family, one thing about any show, when you have a, a special guest performer who the crowd didn't know was coming, they're going to fucking go crazy, okay? Um, ASAP brought out Drake. This happened, and I guess the internet is trying to say this is part of the reason why ASAP is jealous, which I'm sure this is just a bad angle, but anyway. Drop. Stop. Test. Special guest please reveal something. Okay, let's continue with this test. Oh. Damn, ASAP happiest month as the fan. This nigga jumping up and down for joy. This nigga jumping for joy. So again, family, that's just a bad angle, but that clip is fine. All right. Is that the end? We already spoke about Yachty producing on Jumbotron. Uh, we went through those. We went through that. Cha, cha, cha. Again, Rick Ross is built for beef. Trap comedian Ben The Don. Or Ben Dadan. He tweeted, imagine being 50 some talking about, and that's why I don't follow you. Hmm. Rich Forever, aka the boss. LOL. Watch the bottom of my yacht. Devious. Watch the bottom of my yacht. Like, I ain't gonna lie, Ross a funny nigga, bruh. That nigga funny as fuck. I ain't gonna lie to you, bruh. Because he could have just said, wash, nigga, go wash my yacht. But that don't hit as hard. But when you tell a nigga to wash the bottom of my yacht, because you know the, the algae. Like he would say, you know at the bottom where the algae is building up. I need you to scrub the algae off the yacht. I need you to get the algae off of the yacht. Okay? Wax on, wax off when you scrubbing it. No diddy. All right, anyway. That impression sucked. I know. I'm sorry, family. My bad. Anyway, let's keep it going. Um, yo, is this it? Every song that made it on a chart. Yo, family, I will say this. He stung the fuck out of Ross ass, and he took some of it back. So we all know the uh 
the um what would you call this the uh demo version of the disc leaked before the official version leaked which again goes into what the weekend was saying they're being leaks in the operation drake really need to do something about that i'm gonna be honest with you he got to find that leak but i think me personally if he would have kept this line in this this song would have just hit so much fucking harder so this is the demo version. Oh, here go my nigga net. Hold on. Nigga net. You know it. Hold on. Y'all, if you've been here before, you know I got nigga net. I'm the hit, make you bitch stepping with a extortion, baby. Hope we split these top saga. Yeah, I'm a six god. I'm a front runner. Y'all nigga be wicked, wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck while you tripping. Drizzy tripping Dale probably got you. Okay, pay attention right here, family. He changes the line from the demo version versus the actual uh, official version. Check this out. Niggas really got me out here talking like I'm 50. Hey. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take it latest, girl, and cuffle like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in, this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on the chart he got from Drizzy. Worry about whatever going on with you and huh. Hey, shout out to the Hooper. About whatever you you and got going on with off. And and Donnie, I see that mention. I'm about to do that right now. Check that line again. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. So when he say I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky, of course he's talking about Rose, Officer Ricky. We already went through that. All right. Yeah, niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl and cuff her like I'm Ricky. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on the chart he got from Trizzy. Worry about whatever going on with you and huh. Hey, shout out to Nah, he should have kept that. Worry about whatever you, you ain't got going on with, huh? And we all know it's Diddy? Stop playing. All right, so hold on. We got a Drake response to Ross. Wait a minute, what kind of response? When you say response, you don't mean no song response, do you? Not no song response. Are we talking about like a uh, message response? Okay, hold on. What we got? Here we go. Oh, he responded to the... Uh, oh, shit. He responded to the... Um, hold on. I'm about, to, I'm about to get it on the screen. Let me get it on the screen. He responded in the DMs. Man, Donnie. Okay. Now, let's see here. Now, Rick Ross actually posted this. Okay. Now, we, hold on, hold on. I feel like I got to catch up with something. Did I miss something that didn't happen, like, between them right now? Maybe I need to go to Instagram real quick. Oh, I got to sign in to Instagram too. Fuck. Let me see if I can find something. Uh, family, we're going to come right back to that. I promise you, we're we, we about to read that. We got breaking Drake and Ross news, okay? We're keeping you all the way up to date. Okay, I got it here. I got it right here, too. Boom. Okay. Drake posted his DMs with Rick Ross again, Donnie. Okay. Let's see here. So, he posted the DMs. He says, look how I talk to this turkey. You should have just asked for another feature. And family, we'll get to that after I read this. Imagine you having $88 million to spend on a crib. Your shits be still like you got them from a police auction. Hold on, let me make sure I'm in my bag when I'm reading this. Imagine you having $88 million to spend on a crib. Your shits be still like you got them from a police auction. Oh, he's saying your houses be stills like you got them from a police auction. Okay. Your Star Island house on a silver, your, your Star Island house on a silver of cheesecake. No, oh, I can't read. <laughs> your Star Island house is on a sliver of cheesecake. Your lot, 40,000 square feet, my crib. 40,000 square feet, Leonard. Leonard. And you put a wrap on your timeshare jet. That shit coming off when it's when it's the other people turn to fly. You Brett Barry's worker. How many 
many cases you got to move before you got a check finally. Shit probably took a lifetime to see some real bread. You're Brett's son. Now you're not Rosé anymore, damn. Yo, these two niggas is gonna be friends again. Watch what I'm telling you. Nah, I appreciate you, guys. I'm taking all hip-hop news happening. Okay? It's happening in hip-hop, damn it, I'm here for it. All right? We here to talk about it. We here to talk about it. Okay. Um, okay, I think family, I really think for sure this time we had to have hit it all. All right, we spent, all right, we got to leave it alone, family. We done spent three hours on that alone. Okay, let's hit some other topics now. Okay, all right, what is next? So family, let me tell you something. This is a clip circulating of our dog, Nelly, okay? Now, Nelly performed at a college. Right now, I'm going to tell you, this this clip is very misleading. The first thing you see is, so we went to the Nelly concert. Um, but this is coming from probably, most likely, college dorm students. Now, um, this is not a what you think it is type of situation. If Nelly is not drawing in a crowd, you can believe the promoter has not done their motherfucking job. Trust me. Let's actually play this clip, okay? The one with the, the one to see the rainbow, you can be the friend of Slash, he can pass over. What? Nelly, and look at these little white kids. Nah, they thinking about what the fuck we doing later. Alright, so, again, family, Nelly is a draw. Let's never act as if Nelly is not a huge draw. Now, this may not be, of course, his, uh, his perfect demographics, right? Uh, college kids, he is in his 40s, He's uh, performing for 18-year-olds. But again, um, this is a case of either the promoter not really promoting Nelly, uh, you know, people not really knowing Nelly is on a card, or him just being promoted in the wrong type of demographic. Again, if you put Nelly in front of uh, 25 to 40-year-olds, maybe 45-year-olds, Nelly will bring out thousands of people. But today, maybe this college campus is just not Nelly's uh, draw crowd. But again, I still feel like with more promotion, uh, there would have been more people at this venue. By the way, I give him a lot of credit for still performing as if this place is absolutely filled. I give him a lot of credit for that. All right. I really do. Okay. All right. hit some of these on out the way as well. So we got Chance the Rapper family. Chance the Rapper. His birthday just passed. Give it up for Chance. <laughs> Happy trip to one of the fun team. Chance the Rapper says, for my birthday, I just want my brother, I just wish my brother was home with his family. Of course, he is referring to uh, Young Thug. The circus of a trial has had him in custody for over a year. With all the legal errors, jury misconduct, and conflicts of interest by the state, he deserves to, at the very least, fight this from home. I'm not going to lie. I agree with him, but family, Chance, we ain't forgot, nigga. Your ass getting divorced. You was just talking about that all I love my wife shit, nigga. What the fuck all that I love my wife shit at now, nigga? Yeah. I'm petty, nigga. I'm petty, nigga. I thought you, I thought you loved your wife, nigga. I thought it was till death do us part and shit. Ain't that what the fuck you said? Huh? Then you say till death do us part, nigga. You looking motherfucking alive to me. I do agree with what he's saying, though. We do need Young Thug home, family. Um, That trial is a mess. I still stand on Thug is coming home. Um, I think that's one of the reasons they want him locked. They've had him locked. They're wasting his time. They're talking about it's going to take almost up to 2027 to go through every witness. What? Family, the fuck are they trying to do to our goat, man? The fuck are they trying to do to our goat? Alright. Okay. So, 
family, we still got some topics. They kind of quick hitters, but we're gonna we're gonna crack them out. No ditty. All right, let's do it. Okay. Um, let's start here with Gunner. Gunner has done a written interview, family. He's done a written interview. Um, not a video video uh, interview, and of course they're asking uh, questions that people want to know about, right? Um, so they ask him about the quote unquote quote unquote quote unquote snitch brand that has been put on him. Um, let's see here. The question is: People like Lil Durk, Twenty One Savage, and Lil Baby, among others, have either excuse me commented about you being a snitch or alluded to it in songs. Or in social media posts, many people and media outlets have speculated that you aren't cool with those people anymore. What's your response to that? Are you cool with them or not anymore? Gunna responded. None of those rappers, they're not on the case. They don't know legally what's going on. The questionnaire asks, have you spoken to those guys at all? Gunna states, I talked to like maybe like two or three of those guys. I talked to them on the phone. The questionnaire peacefully on good terms. And Gunner stated, yes, peacefully. They also asked him about his relationship with Young Thug currently. Let's find that clip real quick. Um, matter of fact, instead of doing that, because it's real quick, let me just type in Gunner Young Thug. And I'm pretty sure, here we go. Okay, and... It was a simple message, family. He stated, the question was, uh, what is your relationship with Young Thug? And he stated, it's still the same. It's love, always. Our relationship is our relationship. Family, what do you think that means? Um, I still personally believe if Thug ever just comes out and disapproves of Gunna, well, you know what? I take it back. At one time, I felt like if Thug came out and really disapproved of Gunna, it would really hinder his career. But I think at this point, he's gotten so much, uh, he's been received so well. I don't even know if Young Thug unstepping Gunner at this point would change his trajectory. I think he pretty much out of here at this point. I really do. You gonna cover the cow situation? I definitely can, brother. That's no problem at all. We can hit that. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Free sex, man. Facts. Free our dog sex, man. All right. Now, family, I'm hitting these in no particular order, but it's some good topics, so stay locked in with me. Trust me. Now, don't forget, we have Mike Tyson fighting Jake Paul in July. What? Yes, family, I know we've been focused on rap beefs. We've been focused on Cat Williams. A lot of things have been going on, but do not let it slip your mind. Mike Tyson is still fighting Jake Paul. Now, this is a clip of Mike Tyson training, and we're also going to go through some of the rules that have now been brought up for the fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. This is Mike Tyson running maybe his 40-yard dash. Family, y'all tell me what you think about it. Go! Go! Oh, no, family. What? I don't think you're supposed to sound like that when you're running. I don't think you're... I don't think your 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 setup is supposed to look exactly like his is looking either. Let's check this out one more time. Go! Nah, 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 nah. Look, look at, look at, nah. We're going to look at him just walking, okay? But check this out again. Go! Go! I don't know, family. Now, I will say this. I saw a clip of Mike Tyson walking, and it looked like my dog was having problems. I ain't going to lie. So in this clip, you see him walking with a stick, right? Can you guys vouch for me? Am I right? Yep. How you doing, Mike? Good to see you, brother. You looking good, Mike. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So again, he has a walking stick right here. And again, maybe we can see another clip, but he seems like he may have back problems and things of that nature at this point in his life. So um, even when he was running there, you could tell he wasn't really up up straight. You know what I mean? That's what I think I was trying to say. He was arched over, you know. But, again, uh, you put Mike Tyson in the ring against Jake Paul, I still got him laying that motherfucker out. I do. Am I right? Yep. How I, you doing, I'm Mike? 
Good to see you, you, you brother. Good. You're looking good, Mike. Thank you. Do you know you're welcome. Photo, Mr. Payson? He might even have a little wobble to that walk, but nevertheless, let's look at the rules they have now made for the fight. And family, are you boxing fans? Any boxing fans in here? I used to be like diehard boxing fan, but again, boxing, the sport of boxing, I'm not going to say it's died, but in a way, it's, it's just different, right? Okay, here are the rules for the fight. 16 ounce gloves, 16 ounce gloves two minute rounds, no official judges, no winner unless KO. Each fighter must pass a EEG and EKG test. Now, 16 ounce gloves. That's kind of that's kind of to make sure nobody gets knocked out for real for real, right? You say maybe he pulled a muscle? No, I don't know. Maybe he pulled. Well, you know what it really is? Now that I think about it. You say he uh pulled a muscle. I know what happened. This is what happened. This is exactly what happened. Hold on. I broke my back. What? Let me run that back. I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke my back, back is broken. What a, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. Man, this is not a nigga you want to get in the ring with. This is not a nigga you want to get in the ring with, Jake. You might want to uh, re rethink this. Mike, were you really sick this week? What was the problem? I broke my back. What do you mean by that? You my broke back, back is broken. What, a vertebrae or, or well, what portion? Spinal. You did that in sparring? No, I did it um, by a motorcycle accident. The doctor discovered I was doing my sit-ups, 2,500 a day with my 20-pound weight, and one day I couldn't move anymore. And I asked the doctor, what's wrong? And he said, um, believe it or not, it's wearing your back is broken slightly. Mike, where you... Nigga said his whole fucking back broke. Hey, I'ma just let you know that, nah, not me. I ain't find no nigga who think his spinal cord is broken and he just walking around chilling like it ain't like he just didn't get out of boxing match, okay? Family, this is pretty interesting real quick. Like I said, we're going to take these in order. Um, now, this is Quando Rondo family. Um, this is a very interesting clip to me. Now, he was uh, sitting with no jumper, which no jumper has been very hot lately. Actually, I think I'm going to go to the no jumper topic after we hit this. Matter of fact, we'll let this lead into that. Quando Rondo speaks on fans hating him because of the King Von situation. All right, let's check this out. But, but our fans are not going to be the same. So I feel like everybody who against me because of a past situation, I don't give a fuck about them because they ain't never been my fan from the get go. Mm -hmm. I know you said you don't, you don't really regret anything. So you don't regret going to the hookah lounge that night? Man, bit bro, I don't even want to talk about that shit, bit bro, man. Listen, boy, bit bro, boy, hey, when God call your ass home, you got to go, brother. Long story short, I don't, bit bro, I don't even want to talk about that shit. So, so we hear Quando Rondo here basically saying, you know, people who have something to say about him or hate on him, don't like him. They ain't never liked him in the beginning, and. He is not wrong. He is not wrong. Family, if we're being honest, we know a lot of people cho chose sides. You either chose the side of Quando Rondo or you chose the side of King Von. Me personally, I was a huge fan of King Von. I still am. I didn't even really know a lot about Quando Rondo at the time of the incident. I learned more about Quando Rondo after the incident, if I'm being 100% honest. Um, but him saying at this point, if you don't like me because of that situation, you never liked me from the beginning. He's absolutely correct. He's absolutely correct. And he, you know, if we've been honest, he didn't start that situation that night. He walked, he was, he was literally, you know, walked into it. And before you know it, a lot happened, right? So... Anyway, listen, boy, boy, boy. he still moves around like, you know, he's nervous, he's tweaking, he like, you know what I mean? That's why I wanted to rewind it. You see how he kind of 
turn his head like he's always on the look on the like I don't know. Talk about that shit, bit, bro, man. Listen, boy, bit, bro, boy, hey. When God call your ass home, you got to go, brother. Long story short, I don't, I don't even want to talk about that shit. Is that even disrespectful saying when God call your ass home, you got to go? Well, excuse me, because I don't curse with the Lord's name. I apologize. Is that disrespectful, though? Is that disrespectful? Saying when the Lord calls you home, it's time for you to go? I don't know if it was. Well, anyway, let's keep it moving. Okay. What else we got, family? Now, here we go. Now, family, this is interesting. Because you know me, family, I, I like to keep my third eye somewhat open, family. I wish I could stream as much as I want to, but, you know, I'm, I'm thankful we're here now. Right. Anyway, Joe Budden, right? Joe Budden and uh, DJ Academics recently sat down, and during that sitting down, Basically, Joe Budden said that no jumper had fell off. Well, Big Adam 22 has something to say about that. Let's check this out. Joe Budden, you zesty perkhead motherfucker. Somebody sent me a clip of Joe Budden claiming that no jumper is doing real bad in terms of our views and everything. So let's do the science. Joe Budden's channel has got 12 million views in the past month. No jumper's main channel plus our clips channel has done about 26, 27 million views say this although i like the energy that adam is on he is naming two channels versus joe one i still must be fair okay is for the past month so we are two times by far what you have going on and on top of that we kill it on facebook we kill it on snapchat we have three million followers on instagram and we make a huge amount of money on there joe button i don't want to hear shit you're running a chop shop you might have the whole hip hop media gassed into thinking that you're really killing it like that. But trust me, when you want to talk about who's really doing business out here, it's not you. There's a big three and you're not in it. It's me, Vlad, and that fat motherfucker you were sitting. Joe. Big Adam. Big 22. Hey, the type of nigga stand on Benny, nigga. One man arm again, 50, nigga. What you want to do that? I stand on Benny, nigga. Own it. On it like that. Now, I will say this: Joe Budden had responded to this. He responded. Joe Budden responded. Let's go to his page real quick, and we will also see how um, academics feels about that same situation. Okay. Now, right here, this was April fifteenth, which was yesterday, and I do have a bookmark. But anyway, big three. I only see me and my man up here. Tuh. Which again, I think is really just his man and it's not him, but that's another quote. That's another story. Some some you media niggas been trying to force a beef slash relationship. And I'm sorry, family. This is from Joe Budden. Some you media niggas been trying to force a beef slash relationship with me for years now. I'm too at peace for the uh contrived hoot nanny. And my God is too good for me to pretend like he isn't. Please don't let me be a distraction to your plans. With a little more focus, you may be can lose even more LOL. Now, family, of course, Joe Budden feels he is the biggest when it comes to media. You let me tell it. I know Joe Budden within his heart feels he's the biggest in hip hop media, period. Joe Budden is a narcissist. You pretty much can't tell him anything different. His opinion is, if you let him say it, is the truth and everyone else is a lie. Trust me, I've listened to enough Joe Budden to know that he's entertaining, but not to be taken serious. Nevertheless, Academics has responded as well to uh, Adam 22's clip. Two things. I do think Adam is right. And let me give him the things he's right about. I think when it comes to hip hop media platforms, I do think it's him, me, and um, Vlad. And 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 we have to define platforms because, you know, they give out this award every year, where they're like, "Yo, this," you know, they'll be like, "Creation now a platform," and yes, it technically is a platform, and anything is a platform technically, right? Except they put out a podcast once every two months, 
they're not really affecting the day-to-day -day happenings and the ebbs. And Donnie, you're absolutely right. This is disingenuous because Joe makes big money off of Patreon facts. Yeah. Really and I agree, I do not go to No Jumper for any hip hop news unless it's an interview. Um, at one time they had a very good thing going on with the live videos, but I haven't watched any of those in a while. And flows and the news and the happenings really within the culture consistently and also they don't have part of their platform that is even built into help the progression and and dissemination of music news or music news or whatever that's why like a should please as a podcast i wouldn't consider unless it was like a joe rogan type of situation but which is not i wouldn't consider it to be like even in that pat platform discussion, right? I think what we have, you know, um, just naturally we start as a news channel just on YouTube. These days we do pretty much streams um, in, in terms of that. But beyond that, um, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, Snap, or whatever else, that's kind of like the conglomerate of at least what we do when it comes to news. Vlad clearly has like a like this whole network of videos, but it's but it's kind of also kind of newsworthy as well. You know, what I mean, very, you know, it's it's not necessarily important the news, but it's almost like giving commentary about ex exactly happening things, and you're getting multiple people. Adam, I believe what he does with No Jumper is is that too. You get what I mean? Except he has a bunch of shows that are pretty much constantly, you know, culture. Joe has, I have always said, the number one podcast. Number one podcast that is in hip hop. It's not even close. Um, but do I look at his podcast as a like the like the hip hop media? It is a hip hop media platform. But do I look at it like you know? What I mean, that's like the premiere. That's where the culture is happening. At no, I think they're the like they're the first take or the the. And that is totally. I totally agree. Because what Joe Budden is doing is pretty much Monday morning quarterbacking, right? Versus a academics, a Vlad, a uh, Adam22 who do have Instagram platforms, Twitter platforms, and they are breaking news all day. You have Adam who does, again, like I said, their platform goes live. They're speaking about news breaking throughout the day. You got Vlad who literally just has a, you know, his Instagram, of course, his Twitter, those pages you find a lot of news from. But not only that. He is dropping 10 videos a day, not him doing all the interviews, but having people on his platform do interviews with artists who you've never heard of, I've never heard of, and then, you know, five years later, they've already gotten an interview with this artist when they were brand new, right? Um, we've seen that happen a few times with both uh, Vlad and No Jumper's platform, right? I know at one time, Adam literally uh, made his name off of uh, his, his thing was young artists, the newer artists, underground artists. He built his platform off of the backs of those type of artists. He built a community, which now, of course, he's just, you know, as big as, as any news hip-hop platform. But um, anyway, I am interested to see how Joe Budden uh, responds to this clip. And I do wonder... Um, you know, again, he he will uh, he will never let a petty moment like uh, a moment to respond to Adam Twenty Two pass. Trust me, uh, we will get a response from Joe Budden, and I will be here to keep you informed about it. Okay, 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 family. Now we were speaking about Gunna um, during that interview. But what he is promoting is his latest album coming soon. It's going to be titled One of One, W-N, One, O-N-E, of One, W-N. All right, you see what he did there. One of One, as in Wanna, okay? Um, family, are you listening to Gunna? I do want to know. Do you listen to Gunna? Are you listening to Gunna? I ain't going to lie. I kind of do. I don't just like run to it, but he has a uh, song I like. We we rocking like Gunna is just a new day and age. I do come from a hip hop where a snitch could not come back to the game, but hey, you got it. Hey, the game is the game now, I guess, right? So, okay. 
Um, we got this the baby topic. What else we got though? We got a we got a snippet of little baby teasing a new song. Is that Roddy Rich? I thought that was Roddy Rich. That might be a producer. I'm tripping. Anyway, let's check out this snippet, family. You let me know how you feel about this snippet. Weezy out of here. Weezy out of here. Weezy out of here. Fam, I ain't gonna lie, this shit kinda hard. I know that the cool thing is the 80 baby. But if this got a little feature on it and it got a nice little hook on it, I don't know, fam. This shit might have a little go to it. Back in my young nigga shit, made a bunch of this shit Watch me come through that shit, keep blunting this shit You know how I come when I come to the bitch Got the streets in the lock, got the country that shit Got the ball in my hand, I can't fumble this shit He get hit shit, I get touched down I just saw the 200 just rush out Was determined to buy me a bunch of down Put 200 of them niggas getting flushed out I ain't gonna lie, I started liking it when he switched the flow He starts it bad But when the flow switch, it starts to heat up Listen to it In the beginning, it do start off a little bad Then the flow switches and he starts to heat up a little bit. See this little part here, I might not love it. Now right here when the flow switch, I think he started to take off a little bit. I just saw the 200 just rush out. Was determined to buy me a bus down. Put 200 of them niggas getting fleshed out. He was talking now, he got a hood bomb. Put the gas to the floor and I put out. So my mama ain't no more than put out. No relation, I know what to put out. Three the gather came with it, they get out. She get out and I know how to chill out. Smoking dope, you think and I said out. Nah, he cooking. He cooking. We playing with the baby? I mean, little baby. I'm telling you, fam. Oh no, this shit got a little go to it. I seen niggas hating on this. Matter of fact, I damn near, you know what? I'm gonna read some of the comments on this and we're gonna we gonna tap in and see what people think. I think this shit got a little go to it. Let me let it go again. Was determined to buy me a bus down. Put 200 of them niggas getting fresh out. He was talking now. He got a hood bomb. Put the gas to the floor and I put out. So my mama ain't no more than put out. No relation, I know what to put out. Free the gather, came with it, they get out. She get out and I know how to chill out. Smoking dope, you think, and I sell out. From the hood to the pen in the harbor. I'm gonna make this shit happen regardless. Take what P. Louis V on my garbage. On the bank, if you broke your bar, so I'm probably playing like I ain't the hardest. Like I ain't trying to dodge the charge. Man, quit playing with this nigga, man. Hold up. Cooking, man. Yo, who said this nigga fell off, man? Yo, act. You gotta listen to this shit again, gang. Facts. Nigga getting off. Yo, nigga made me feel some family. You know, you know when a nigga get to getting in that bag, it kind of make you. You feel me? Nah, family. I hate the way he began it. I'm not gonna lie. But after that. This nigga go in. Put 200 just rush out. Was determined to buy me a bus down. Put 200 of them niggas getting flesh out. He was talking now. He got a hood bomb. Put the gas to the floor and I put out. So my mama ain't no more than put out. No relation, I know what to put out. Be the guy that came with it, they get out. She get out and I know how to chill out. Smoking dope, you think and I sell out. From the hood to the pen in the harbor. I'm gonna make this shit happen regardless. Take what P. Louis V on my garbage. On the bank if you broke your bars, so Why they playing like I ain't the hardest? Like I ain't trying to dodge the charges. You know what I'm talking to hoes, you know that they run. Nah, this nigga talking! Playing like I ain't the hardest, nigga. I'm trying to dodge these charges, nigga. You seen these Ricos going out around this bitch? I'm trying to dodge these charges, gang. Y'all niggas geeking. This me. Hold up. Hold up. My mama ain't no more than put out. No relation, I know what to put out. Free the gather, can't wait they get. Free my nigga thug. Free sex. Nah, fam, I ain't review this clip the way I was supposed to review this clip. I ain't know this nigga was, ain't know this nigga was talking like this. 
They got the bottle in my hand, I can't fumble this shit, he get his shit. I get touched down. I just sold the 200 in his rush out. Was determined to buy me a bullet down. Put 200 on niggas, get flush out. He was talking now, he got a hood around. Put the gas to the floor and I put out. So my mama ain't no more than put out. Know they listen, I know what to put out. Free the gather, can't wait till they get out. Shit can happen, I know how to chill out. Smoking dope, you think, and I sell out. From the hood to the pen in the hub. I'ma make this shit happen regardless. Take what people with me on my garbage. On the bank, if you broke me, your bar so Why they playing like I ain't the hardest? Like I ain't trying to dodge the charges. Still talking to hoes, you know that they run back and tell everything that you said. Like, this thing's weird, I don't know what to call it. Real gangsta ain't rocking no nail polish. Where I'm from, they rob me on tail. I'm going to get you a hammer and nail something. Ever since I was little trying to sell something. Now, stop at the top, I don't know what up. I do kind of want to check these comments a little bit. Let me see something real quick. I got to be careful with this, though, because it be pouring in these comments. I'm not going to lie. Y'all already know. Like, the comments be, like, fucking crazy. First comment, hard, no ditty. He about to go on another run. Okay, people might be giving him a little credit. Little baby hard, but his problem is he don't switch up his style. Niggas like Cardi and Uzi are still popping Cause they got different flows and voices. Ah, uh, okay. Slow down, dropping all that trash ad music. Is V's a part of his team or something? How is he always in the studio with this dude? Let me find out. V's a ghostwriter. What? Nah, we ain't even finna put them allegations out there like that. Yo, Donna, you just said that too. Facts. Alright, we ain't gonna keep playing with them comments. They did us good enough. It's a, hey, it's it's kind of it, more people liked it than them few comments we read than didn't like it though. I'll say that, I'll say that. Yo, family, I since this is still in the way and I'm just a, a fan of this nigga, I'm not gonna even lie to you, family. This is a weird but fun fact about me. I used to be a fan of Tiger. Now, not a fan of Tiger. Don't get me twisted, but I do think the nigga can rap. Is basically what I'm saying. I wasn't out here fanboying over Tiger at all. But I did listen to Tiger mixtapes like Black Thoughts and shit like that. The boy can make hits. He's that boy. So Billy English, family. Uh, Billy English. I posted a photo of Billy English, boy. She is a bad man. Uncle. Anyway, she pulled out the boy Tiger and had that boy perform at her uh, birthday party, I think it was. Let's check it out. And my dog, Donnie. You the man. You the man. Don't you pull your wallet out, chill. Cause we, we near the end of the stream anyway. I appreciate you. I'm in this bitch sweating, glistening like a motherfucking turkey. But I appreciate you, gang. No cap. Now, let's check out this clip, family. Cause this is just a feel good clip, like nigga. I fuck with Tiger, man. I just do, man. Hey. And the whole crowd know the song, nigga. Quit playing. show a piece of this interview where Drizzy was tight. I'm not going to lie, family. When Colt, me, when K-Dot dropped uh, that control verse, this nigga was tight. He did not fuck with that shit. It's very, very obvious if it was a joke, that joke rubbed him the wrong way. It left an impression about K-Dot on him and shit was not the same since. All right, check out this clip. I do, like, I really do this, like, as far as writing goes. And it would have to be warranted, because my, it would get, it would be scathing. The bars would be scathing. I can't really? just do it out of it. I can't be the first one. You know, I'm always, you know, You wouldn't do it for sport, ever? Like, just to call someone out? Like, no, 
know, like a like after Kendrick's thing, you wouldn't. I I noticed you didn't really get into that too much. So I just like I don't know. It, it just wasn't real to me. It's like family. One thing about Drake that has been. I'm so sorry, Drizzavelli. One thing about Drizzavelli that has been the same since day one. When it comes to this beefing and this battling, he always says, I just need to know if it's real or not. If it's real, we can go. If it's real, we gone. If it's not, then don't play with it like it is. All right? And this is at the beginning of his career. And we still hear him to this day say, if it's real, let's go. All right? So this is something he's always stood on. Not too much, so. I just, like, I don't know. It, it just wasn't real to me. It's like. I, I saw him after that, and it was just like love. So it's like, was that real, or was that just like for the people? You know what no, I mean? I like, think it's a sparring kind of sport. Yeah, but you know, at the that. same time, it's like you know, then let it be real. Then you know, I mean, because those were harsh words, right? So it's like, don't just you can't just say that and then see me and be like, yeah, man, what's up? Pretending like nothing ever happened. Like <laughs> that's not real. That's not to me. That's not like so the nature even... of battling. I mean, there's passion behind it. There's anger behind it. You know, and I personally enjoy making like great music and bodies of work over like being the talk of Twitter for like five days, you know. Over, but you like, seem just now a little irritated by it. No? Really? Yeah, just by even saying that it, it was those were harsh words. Yo, shout out to Angie Martinez, man. <laughs> True goat. True goat. Understanding the posturing, the, uh, the body language of Drake. And instead of just going into the next question, kind of feeding and freestyling off of what she's saying. Does it seem like maybe it irritated you for a second? Is that wrong? No, it's just like, I mean, it com like coming from that situation, I w it was unexpected. You know, I wouldn't, like, it it's sort of like um, w in working your way up and sort of building relationships, I, w I wouldn't expect you to, like, throw all the relationships out the door for the sake of, like I said, being, like, the talk of the internet for right. like 10 days and then you know it's like now this like everyone's gonna forget it but i mean it, people don't even care about it anymore so but, true but now especially this week it's like yeah okay moving on like it, i don't know if it was worth it you know because there's a lot of people that were mentioned that i feel like won't can't really go back and fuck with that guy after right. that you know what i'm saying sorry i shouldn't have cussed no it's okay i enjoy but, it get it get into yeah. it drake go go but no nah, that's that, people that, think you're too nice that's <laughs> the problem you gotta look you gotta curse a little bit nah more. but anyway i mean <laughs> He's never really backed down from anyone, but it sounds a little soft. If it's smoke, it's smoke. In my opinion, it doesn't have to be real. I agree with that. It did come off a little irritated, a little, and I 100% I agree because what Kendrick did really was for sport. We really could have got this battle at this moment. Like, if Drake wouldn't have took it kind of emo the way he did, as we're obviously saying he did here, maybe we could have got the battle then. But today... Today, I think Drake is in full control of this battle right now. And it's getting worse the more K-Dot makes us wait. Because guess what happens? The more K-Dot makes us wait, the more we're anticipating, right? And with more anticipation, you're building up hype. Right now, we don't know nothing. We got the uh, leaks, but he ain't standing next to those. So now, the longer he waits... It's like, yo, you better come with it. You making us wait all this time type shit, right? So, I don't know. <laughs> for, for me, you know, it was cool. I, I feel like the 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 verse was great, and and um, I I, would, I understand what as a fan, I would enjoy a Drake and Kendrick kind of sparring oh, yeah, session. Well, I'm sure yeah. you would. Yeah, yeah, I would. I'm sorry. What do you want me to do? You want me to lie to you about this? No, nah, that's good. That's it's good. I, I I understand it. I understand it. I've been. I, I. I. never. I never thought Kendrick, but there's a couple other people I thought would have called my name by now that I never did. But oh, is that what you're waiting for the name call? I'm waiting for it. I'm ready for Ooh. it. Not waiting for it, but I'm ready for it. Nice. I'm not. I'm not the guy. But there's a reason why they don't call my name. I'm not the guy. I'm not the <laughs> one. I like when you talk crazy. Drake. I'm not talking crazy. I'm being honest. I know. I like that. That nigga is being honest. Trisha Valley. Let that nigga, man, fuck all that happy to be here shit that y'all niggas want me on. The fuck? I don't even want to see this nigga looking all nice and shit like this right now, man. Show me this nigga today. Grown ass man ready for smoke. Yeah, that nigga right there. And I guess since we clicked on this, Little Meech says Drake should put Rick Ross's BMT on the intro of Second This. Now listen, family. Tia Kemp 
Man, family, I don't even know if I want to platform this. This is crazy. She really crazy. Yo, let's see what she got to say. Let's see what she got to say. I'm telling you. Hold on. Check this out, family. Family, I apologize before I even play this shit. This is Rick Ross, I think, first baby mom. Now, family, I will say, money changes shit. At one time, Ross was happy to smack this, okay? Today, he'd probably throw up if he had to smack on that. It's one of those if you know, you know, okay? Here we go. Drake! Call me, boots. I got something to tell you. Drake told Will to drop it, get him 50. <laughs> he can't. He probably could give him both. I'm just glad I don't know what that big fat would do. Oh shit, she funny as fuck. Drake! Call me boots. I got something to tell you. <laughs> Now, in defense of Rick Ross, I will do this. In defense of Rick Ross, because his baby mama be geeking on him all the time now. But, I will say this. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Time for the start. So, it seems, maybe this is Cap, but we're going to look at another clip. It seems Tia was at Rick Ross's house, and she was feeding this nigga alligators? Yeah, kind of like the time from the stove. From, uh, the I got to get the time, the, the, the year of this video, too. Oh, shit. Damn care, girl. Yo, she walking out there barefoot. That's how you know this boy. She walking barefoot. Oh. <laughs> Yo, this nigga Ross just got gators in the back. Y'all like that? <laughs> but nigga hungry than the motherfucker dog. <laughs> Man, dog like like he ate a year. He finna come up and eat your ass, bitch. <laughs> but them turtles in your bread, get them, get them. Boop. <laughs> when was this video? This was April 15th. I wonder if that was this year. Hold on real quick. I was looking for... I was looking for something else. I was looking for something else to, show, to give my nigga Ross a little... You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me see. I might not be able to find it. It's all good. I was trying to. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now, of course, his baby mama do all that talking about his ass. But my dog uploaded a photo. You must have all timers. You must have all timers, Granny. Cause September 26, 2023, I let you mop and do my pedicure. You were in the best spirits. He uploaded the photo. He got the photo there of her. You feel me? Nigga ain't capping. Right? He got it. Okay. So that's to cut my nigga Ross a little. You feel me? I ain't no kids if you talking about that shit. You know a strong baby mother when you see one. Right? Okay. Let's keep going. Here we go. We got... After the baby. Yo, fam. The internet has been going crazy. Again, I'm hitting these quick ones. I ain't been going crazy about this Will Smith clip, fam. It's like... Just that quick, we should get all the bullshit him and Jada been through. Him just smacking spit out of Chris Rock mouth on stage live. 
and we just all, man, like, man, Will Smith, we love you, bro. Like, niggas is no ditty, but family, who remembers Men in Black? Coachella! Man, the inner child is coming out. No diddy. Man. Travis Scott. Travis Kelsey. Ain't that his name? The tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs. And Taylor Swift. Ice Spice, Taylor Swift, and Travis Kelsey were at Coachella as, you know, these two are getting a little close. We know this Ice Spice. You know what I mean? He's smoking a backwood. Let's check it out. <laughs> Now, before we pay attention to Ice Spice Smoking Family, I just want to say Travis is definitely fucking now. At one time, people was like, yo, this is a fake, this a fake relationship. They ain't really together. Nah, this nigga smacking cheeks. I can tell by the closeness here, they ain't have no cameras really on them. There's just some fan recording randomly out the crowd. Nah, they, they rolling now. And nice and close, you know what I'm saying? Cuddly, you know what I'm saying? See Ice Mice, Ice Spice, hitting the ganja. You know what I mean? Tight shit. And she smoked like a pro, nigga. Look how she's smoking, nigga. You can tell she been smoking. In, what she from Brooklyn? She been smoking. Nah, she from the Bronx. You can tell she been smoking in them dirty stairway hallways in the Bronx her whole fucking life. Look at the way she's smoking that motherfucker. That's just Ice Spice smoking weed. I guess, you know, after the battle, the news kind of takes a, a drastic dip, if you know what I'm saying. I'm sorry. Um, And that was, we spoke about that already. We hit that, we hit that, we hit that. We got the baby. Uh, Family, you know what? This one is close to me, okay? Um, Kodak Black. He recently released a song, Family, kind of... Explaining how he's been, how he's been feeling. Um, he does have a clip that we will review after this of him explaining how he is feeling more clear-minded today that he has stopped taking as many Percocets as he was at one time. But you can really hear the pain in this video of him explaining what life has been for him lately. Uh, I really want him to get very healthy because, again, he is literally one of my personal favorite artists uh love him i really do and uh he's been through a lot i really want him to get it together but uh you tell me what you think about this clip all right tired of spending my said my bed he even looks like he matured some i mean he looks more adult in a way like take a look at him like tired of turn up on these niggas, turn up. Says right here. Let's check out this clip here. 
We ain't with none of that Illuminati shit. We ain't on none of that. Come on, little baby, young boy, all the gay ass going on. We ain't on none of that bitch and nail shit. We ain't on none of that shit. They'll never play with a nigga with no gay shit, no snitch shit, no fuck shit, no soft shit. No, no, none of that shit. We ain't on none of that. Stop playing with me. For real. Bitch, it's cold out here. <laughs> I was just saying, this nigga need to get his life together. He getting his life together. He stopped taking as much drugs. I'm thinking I'm clicking on the clip of him explaining that. This nigga crashing out. Family, we gonna tap on that topic, but we will do it another day. We got some more topics that we wanna tap on. Hold on, here we go. All right. I was saying, I love her. Yeah, if you know me, bro, you know I don't even lie at perks or pussy. I never did that type of what? Shit. This nigga said what, bro? Huh? I ain't hear that nigga right, bro. I ain't hear that nigga right. Let me rewind. You know me, bro? You know. I don't even like perks or pussy. This nigga said he don't like pussy? What? What am I missing? I never did that type of shit to be pressed for pussy. But I remember a point in my life when I was chewing a lot of perks. I'm proud of myself. I've never been as happy in my life, bro. I don't know. Where this L came from? What the fuck going on? I ain't even gonna say I'm anti perk. Like, I never took a perk since I've been home. But, bro, my dose is so low that I can't believe it myself. Now, I'm telling y'all, bro. He still got that little tweak to him, though. Notice how he'll just kind of real quick wipe his face and do some like. Took a perk since I've been home. But, bro. My dose is so low that I can't believe it myself. Now, I'm telling y'all, bro. Before I just went to jail, bro, bro, I was taking, bro. I can talk about this because it's my testimony, bro. Now, I'm hollering at y'all. Ain't no shame in my shit. Man, bro, I was taking, bro. Bro, at least 100 perks. But my average is 40 perks, says, bro. I'm telling y'all this, bro. But I ain't no. To the point I look at this and I be like, bro, what the fuck was wrong with me, bro? I listen to my music and be like, bro, what the fuck, fam? Thank you, love. Yeah, y'all could. Come here. Thank you. Nah, that boy still that boy. Little white girl. Hey, look, he cut all that fuck that perk talk he was talking about. He was eating them little white girl. He said, yeah, come here. Fuck them. Thank you, love. Just see you in the yeah, y'all could. Come here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, anyway. Man. All right, look, family. Man, listen. I love the fuck I'm trying to make it Welcome to the shot. That just we coming back. You know what I mean? Coming back again this week, family. We are on the lookout for Kodak. I mean, not Kodak. Kendrick Lamar. We waiting on him, okay? Um, Unfortunately, family, I do got to start getting ready for work tomorrow. That shit sucks, I know. But anyway, family, again, I appreciate you coming back. We will be back. If you have not joined the Discord, please join up the Discord. The link is in the chat. Facts. Thank you. Family, this shit has been so much fun tonight. Everything, family.
pulling up. That's it.